everybody and welcome back to very loud main menu music house flipper 2 oh my goodness wait Eight. Uh, immediate gifts up what hello thank you thank you hi hold on let me let me actually get the game going so we don't have the the ridiculously loud menu music I really wish I knew why the, the menu music is so much louder than the, the music in the game. It's like, if, if I turn the music down for the menu, then you can hardly hear it in the game. But if I keep it like at this level, which is like perfect for background music for the game, then it just blasts in the main menu for some reason. <laughs> but hello everybody, welcome! Welcome back. Oh, we're in the old house. Oh, I forgot to move my office over. Oh, maybe I was waiting until I've actually renovated it a bit more. That would make sense. Anyway, hello everybody, welcome! Welcome on in, happy Wednesday. It is Wenovation Wednesday. <laughs> and my plan of action for today is to chill. We're gonna have a good time. We're just gonna relax. I'm gonna reno continue renovating my, my new house. Like, I started building this one, I decided I don't want this house anymore, it's it's too shed-like, and I don't like the roof. <laughs> so I bought another house, and last stream, I started working on that. I started, like, clearing that out and getting rid of the rubbish and cleaning. But we haven't gotten far yet. It's still not my home yet. But it will be soon. Anyway, let me let me go through and say hi to everybody. Rika, congratulations on first, and thank you so much for the gift sub too. I love that you hit Mori with it. That's so good. Thank you so much for the gift sub. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Dukta. Welcome, Akire. Welcome, Zariad. Welcome on in. Welcome, Sizume. Welcome, Ryan. Welcome in. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy International Workers' Day. Is it International Workers' Day today? Oh, well, I, I better get ready to do some do some work on these houses then, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I didn't know that. And Jack, hello. Welcome, welcome. Jim. Welcome on ev in, everybody. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you slept. I hope you slept better last night than I did. That's the first thing I will wish everybody. But yes, I was working on this to be my house. But I've decided that I just, I can't deal with the fact that it's basically a shed. I was like, it's, it's very cute, but for my home, this is not feeling like my home. Like I was, I was hoping adding like the pink and teal would make it feel more like my home, but it, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like my home. So what we're going to do is we're going to renovate this differently for somebody else. So this this will be a house that we sell for somebody else to buy, but it's not going to be my home. And then my home, can I leave? How do I leave again? Oh, do I have to use the laptop? Where's my computer? Wait, where is my computer? Oh no. I definitely have one, right? Oh wait, no, I can just, I can just do it through tab, can't I? I can, I can just go to houses through here. Okay. <laughs> Never mind, panicking for a second. Yeah, it's a holiday in Germany. Oh, I didn't know that. I've heard some people saying that it's Labor Day. I've been hearing that. But uh, I don't think it's a holiday here. Uh, we, we do have May Day. But May Day over in the UK, it always like defaults to a Monday. So it, it'll be like the first Monday in May? Hold on, let me check my calendar. Yeah, yeah, the, the bank holiday, the May bank holiday is on Monday. Next Monday. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's not a holiday in the UK, at least not as far as I'm aware. But there are local elections happening tomorrow. So I'm going to have to go out and vote tomorrow. So that's going to be fun, having to leave the house. <laughs> Yay! But, but yeah, I, I don't think it's a holiday here, but I, I, I know that's... Today's a holiday in so many different places. But yeah, I feel like the UK has this thing where every time there's like a specific holiday, it's it's usually on a Monday. They will like do it like the closest Monday to whatever it is and then call it a bank holiday. 
Why is it called a bank holiday, actually? I'm... Bank holiday. Why is it called a bank holiday? It's... E um... In the United Kingdom, the term refers to all public holidays, be they set out in statute, declared by royal proclamation, or held by convention under common law. The term bank holiday refers to the fact that banking institutes typically close for business on such holidays, as they once used to do on certain saints days. Okay, that's... It... It's just... That's... It's just kept the name, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it's... It's kind of funny. I never really considered the fact that it's called a bank holiday before. It's it's a strange name. Just for like, why is it not just a holiday? No, they're specifically bank holidays. Uh, oh, oh no, your sleep sucked. Oh, I, I hope you can get better sleep soon. Enrica, oh, taking a tolerance break from ADHD meds and caffeine. So very sleepy. Oh, rest day. Full rest day, I see. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, Sizame, you took your usual nap on the train to work and overslept and missed your st Oh no. Oh, you need to you need to set an alarm on your phone for the the time like a few minutes before the train usually arrives at your stop. <laughs> oh, at least it was only one stop though. Imagine if you'd just stayed sleeping and ended up at the end of the line. That would that would have been awful. <laughs> I hope you weren't too late though. I hope you I hope you didn't end up getting into work late and psychic salad hello one mchouse with large fries and a coke to go please i'm sorry i um i've, I've got gummy worms will that do <laughs> welcome in actually i don't know why i'm offering that the gummy worms are mine sorry sorry they're my gummy worms uh my bad uh anyway <laughs> how's it going happy wednesday right this is this is the old barn i bought before that i was going to have as my home Oh, don't look at me like that. Okay, you can have one gummy worm. As a treat. <laughs> but yeah, I bought the old barn for myself, but I've realized um, my personal aesthetic, I, I feel like I'm more like the modern style. Like when it comes to things. Like I don't want things to be like minimalist. Like I like modern, but I like it to still be like cozy and comfy. But I really like like square buildings and this kind of architecture compared to like natural wooden like log cabin kind of stuff. Like I love natural wood. I love log cabins. I love that kind of style. Just not for my home. I do it for other people. <laughs> but yeah, so I ended up buying this one in harmony with nature. And so last stream I started cleaning up a bit because there's a lot of cleaning up that needs to be done here and i think i i think i mostly did it i think i did it all last stream i managed to do the cleaning and i managed to um get rid of the rubbish and stuff but i haven't done much else so now is going to be the time to check that everything's working as it should be and then start decorating it that is the plan at least Oh, you don't think the alarm would work for you, but it's fine. This is not the first time it's happened. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, at, th at least you you still made it, though, I hope. Anyway, here is the house so far. I've been doing some cleaning. Oh, I forgot I put some cool rocks outside. Yes, I, I put rocks everywhere. How do I use my there, flashlight? It's a little dark, so I probably could do with getting some lights sorted first of all but it's a really nice little house it's we got rooms down here this is the downstairs we've got some space here here's the staircase to go up we've got this little room got this in here we got this in here it's really nice i think it's a really nice space i think i could make a really nice home with this and then there's this little balcony garden area as well it's really not ideal to be trying to show this off in the middle of the night. But alas, it is the middle of the night in the game. <laughs> right, but yes, I've done all of the cleaning. I fixed like the broken walls and stuff. Like there were some walls that were damaged. 
I have fixed those up. And yeah, I think it's decoration time. Also, Cinder, Cinder One Lover. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. I hope you enjoy your time here. This is my house. It's my house. It's not much to look at yet, but it will be. I'm going to make it beautiful, I promise. <laughs> but welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Oh, I've got my... This, this scaffolding unit is horrible. Part of me is tempted to just sell it and buy a new one just because it is so horrible looking. <laughs> But I I should save my money. I shouldn't do that. But yeah, I'm I'm really excited for this though. I think it's gonna be a nice home. I think it's gonna be good. And see we've got little like there's little bits in the roof up here for the, the outside balcony, oh. so if we plant some plants here or something, then the rain can still water them. <laughs> huh? This is my house. Yeah, I've got to say, to begin with, I was wondering why there was these gaps. <laughs> gaps on the roof. Oh, I see you. You're discovering the redeems. I hope you like them. You should have enough points for another one, too. What's it going to be? I recommend a gym. Gym's pretty cool. <laughs> Hoi, Liri and chat Liriel one wave. Ace! Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for the six-month resub. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. I'm um, just... um doing a very very silly in the middle of the night dark tour of my house you you couldn't you can hardly see things i really should wait until it gets light out <laughs> but welcome thank you so much how's it going happy wednesday it's the middle of the week it's it's all downhill from here oh it's so nice though but yeah, to begin with, I was wondering if these slats were just, like, a decorative element. But I've, like, I've realized looking at them, it's like, oh, this way, the plants that are planted down here, they'll be able to get, like, the rainwater. They'll be able to get the sun through the, the slats. It's, it's a really cool idea. Hmm, I think I would like to add a way to get up to the roof as well as an option because I think going up on the roof would be really nice. At the moment I'm just kind of climbing on the scaffolding <laughs> and like scrambling my way up there. But I think it'd be nice have have like little rooftop access. I could maybe have a staircase here. Like coming like along here. Like it goes up this way and then goes up to the roof that way. Maybe. Or I could have it as, as an indoor thing. Much to think about. Anyway, I think the first plan of action should be... Lights. I think I need some lights in here. So let's have a look. Let's see what lights I got. We want lights, uh, ceiling lamps. What kind of lights do I want? See, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm instantly drawn to this one because the default is pink, but I should probably look at the others. I can probably make the others pink. Oh, I kind of like these ones. The ones with the rope, where it's just like the bulbs and the rope. I quite like that. Do something like that. Oh, the, it, it's got the different options for bulbs as well. I just stick with these ones. Have the slightly bigger ones like that. I like that. It looks quite cool. I wish I could change the, the rope color as well though. I don't know, what kind of style do I want? <laughs> I don't know what kind of aesthetic I want to go for. I'm... What is this one? Oh wait, that's so sparkly. <gasps> oh, what if I go for like, oh, that's like a corner light. Wait, that's, this is, wait, these are interesting. Like a pyramid light. They're like corner lights. I could have like glittery corner. What what would this look like if I did? I did that in pink. Oh my goodness, it's so sparkly. I don't know what temperature I would want the light to be. I prefer, I prefer blue lights to 
to like orangey lights just because I prefer blue as a color. What kind of temperature is that? I wish I could turn it on to see the, the light temperature preview. Who knows? Let's just buy one and see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> oh, this is probably not what I want to um, fully be the main lights in my room, huh? But that... That's pretty incredible. Alright, goodbye. Not that one for the main lights. But we'll go with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what I think about the, the rope lights, but... Oh, honestly, part of me wants to, like, build a basement now. Make, like, a little basement bar and have these in the corners. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if I could do that. I bet I, I bet there is a way to do that. I bet I could do that. Okay, I'm gonna make that a bonus project after I've, like, made the rest of the house decent. <laughs> I want to make a, a basement bar with sparkly corner lights. <laughs> also, Mel, hello! Welcome, welcome! The chicken gets sent back to the chicken. Yeah, it does. That's <laughs> Wait, where will I put the dungeons then? I don't need dungeons. I'm, I'm kind and benevolent. I would never imprison anybody. I, I'll just have like a spare bedroom and be like, you can, you can stay in here. I have very strict rules. It's, um, I don't have dungeons, but if you do commit any crimes, then you're out of here. You are kicked off the premises. There's no crimes allowed, sorry. I quite like these. I... Gym. There's the gym, yes! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you for the gym! The best lad. Oh, maybe around. See, I really like these lights. I like the lights that are like the geometric style. I don't know if I want a hexagon. I think I might go for the round ones. I'm gonna go for the round ones and we're gonna go pink because I am predictable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's have these lights. Now, I wanna know what, hold on, give me a second. I'm gonna quickly look up light temperature. Uh, light temperature. Okay, the higher the number, the bluer it is. Okay. Okay. So I want this number to be higher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I, I go like, like that. Have it as a, a more blue light. Oh, see, this is more like it. This is more like it for a, a actual <laughs> filling the room. <laughs> horror music. We're having such a nice time. <laughs> Go like that. And then... Yeah, that's the, that's it. That is like the, the most neutral white light. I like that. I like that. That's, that's the right temperature. What was it? Oh my goodness. Hold on. I need to copy it. <laughs> Duplicate! Yes, this is what I want. We're having more of these. And I need to keep them in line with each other, so it's these dots. I'll put it like here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I am so happy that they've added like grid snap and placement lines and dots. It's the one thing that I always said in the first house flipper. Like I, the one thing I longed for was like grid snaps and just grid placement because there would be so many times when I'm like, is that central? I have no idea. It's going to have to do. It's good enough. And now there's little dots and lines and I can place things nicely and it, it all matches up. It's so nice. Right, these lines. Yeah, I can match it up. That one on the other side as well, like that. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's so much nicer. Oh, single light in a dark room is kind of horror. That, that's true. 
But it's okay, because we're adding more. Look at this. It's going to be so warm and nice. I'm excited. Okay, how do we make this central? I could probably match this up really nicely and evenly. Can I be bothered? That's central enough. <laughs> That's good enough for me. Right, let's keep putting these upsets. I'm just going to use these in every room, I think. The center's like right here. Yes, good enough. And in here it will be like. Is that central? There. Yes. Yes. They're perfect. And if they're not perfect, they're still perfect to me. And the middle of here is going to be like... Blah, 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 blah. Like that-ish? Yeah, that'll do. Okay, we have lights! We have lights! Let there be light! Oh, I forgot this room. Oh, this is... Blah, 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 blah. Perfect. That one is very not central. This one... <laughs> missed the mark slightly okay that's better there we go yay okay so we have the lights we can see what we're doing i've suddenly realized i have not placed any light switches so if i want to turn them off i have to manually walk over to each one and turn it off um should probably make some light switches right light switches oh i want it to look nice which of these? What is this one? Ooh! Oh, hold on a second. Oh, let's have them teal. Let's have these teal. Oh, wait, no, this has to be wood. Oh! Okay, let's have it white marble, and then the base can be teal. Yes, look at that. Oh no, I can color the marble too. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh my, look at <laughs> Wait, look how pixelated the texture is. <laughs> oh, that's, wow, that's incredible. Oh, look at those. Oh, that's, that's stretched out. Why are they all? Why has it taken, like, the lowest possible resolution for these textures for this light switch? What is happening? Look at that. Why... Why, <laughs> why does it look like this? Why does it look like that? Oh, that's... I don't think... I think that may be a bug or something that the devs overlooked. I don't think it's meant to look like this. Considering how high quality all the textures are. I don't think it's meant to be this zoomed in. <laughs> Pixels are expensive, especially in this economy. That is true. That is true, but they're already here. The pixels are already here. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I guess I just go for the glossy painted wood. Yeah, that's the... Oh, ooh. Oh, whoa. I'm... Why does it look... It looks like vinyl has been stuck on, but it hasn't been stuck on properly, and there's little air bubbles stuck underneath it. I, d I don't think I'm going for this light switch. I, we're picking a different one. I don't like that one. Let's just go plain. Let's just, let's just make it white too. I'm, keep it simple for the light switches. We'll, we'll keep it simple. All right. So the first light switch will go here. We'll have a light switch for this room, which shall go... Okay, like, this is... I want to get it, like, almost, like, the same level. So I guess it would be, like, here? Yeah, like that. I can use the bricks as a guideline. Just do it, like, four bricks down. 
that's a taller archway, so that doesn't work. But it'll work for the other rooms. Oh, I'm Pastel Medusa. Hi, thank you for the luck. I hope you have a good day. All right, we'll need a light switch up here. One, two, three, four. We'll need a light switch in here. Oh no, I painted this wall. Uh oh. Um, about there, I think. Oh wait, yeah, I can just count the dot spaces. One, two, three, four. Yeah, perfect, okay. And this room, we go one, two, three, four. Light switch. And now I, now I try and remember how to wire them. So, here, boom. Okay. Okay, now that switch is connected to that. Okay, fabulous. And this one is connected to that. Excellent. This one is connected to that. Fabulous. I could do with a separate light switch just for this light. I might... I haven't decided yet. I might separate this into a separate room. I might build a wall here and have this as an individual room instead of having it all completely open plan. But I'm not sure yet. But for now, we will link all of these lights to this switch. And now this switch will turn all of these on. And then we have the light switch in here to connect to there. Oh, look at that. There, it's all wired up to perfection. Hee <laughs> hee. And Sarah Cat, hello! What is up? Welcome, welcome. I just realized I forgot to put a light in here. Oopsie. Uh, how's it going? Happy Wednesday. Welcome. Welcome to House Flipper 2. I'm renovating my own house. Oh, look! Now that I've actually got all of the the lights on. Now that I have the lights on, you can actually see the building a little bit better. That's so nice. There's a worm on a string next to your name now. Yes, that's the um when you reach, I think it's a year and a half being a sub. I think it's a year and a half when the worm appears. I don't remember exactly, but yes, you've unlocked the worm. Nice. <laughs> Thank you so much for staying subbed for so long. You get reward worm. And if you keep being subbed, the, the heart will slowly change color too, and you'll get a teal heart. The teal heart is the, I've been here a while. <laughs> and then I, I need to think of what to do after that though. I've I've got it up to like the three year mark because I've only been streaming for three years, but there isn't anything that comes after that. So maybe, maybe a silver heart. Maybe after the three year mark, it starts going silver. And then after that, it will go gold. <laughs> oh, oh, rainbow. Oh, wait, I could just, I could make it rainbow. We could make rainbow heart, like the, the longer you're subbed <laughs> or more worms. I, I could. That's true. We could just add more worms. That's very true. A worm shaped like heart. Wait, like, yeah, just like worm on a string going all the way around the edge. That could be really cute. I love how whenever I click interior, it like automatically goes to accessories and like all the food. Wait, I just realized while we are doing this, I feel like we need, yes, yes, perfect, okay, okay, uh, I'm just going to leave that there, that is to fuel us as we renovate, <laughs> oh, I just realized I haven't actually opened my monster, hold on a second, let me fix this, cheers. Cheers, everybody. I have a can of Monster Energy Ultra Zero. I've got the white can today. Because I ran out of Rosa. I had my last can of Rosa. And the ones that uh, Barb bought for me haven't arrived yet. So I'm, I'm stuck with the white cans until, until that arrives. 
But I've got plenty of white cans left, thankfully, so I, I won't be running out of ones, though. I just can't have the pink ones. Hopefully that arrives soon. Oh, I hope it doesn't arrive tomorrow when I'm out voting. Oh. I did not think about that. I haven't gotten the shipping notice yet, so I don't think it will arrive tomorrow. Sadly. But... If it does arrive tomorrow, that's gonna be... I, I just feel like knowing my luck, the parcel will arrive in like the half hour it takes me and Xander to go out and vote. <laughs> it always feels like, like, I'll, I'll be waiting in for a delivery and then I'll be like, okay, I'm just going to go to the shop across the road to pick something up, get back home, it's like, sorry, we missed you. <laughs> like, they, they wait on purpose. No, I don't think they do wait on purpose. It feels like it, though. Oh, what's the name of the three-pack that has the three I like? I don't think they do it as a three-pack. I wish they did. That would be so good. I just... I just specifically like the, the three flavors. <laughs> it's the, the teal can, the pink can, and the white can. Those are the monster flavors I like the most. I, It was pure coincidence. Like, I didn't even... It would have been like funny if I just went hee hee I'm just gonna buy these flavors of monster because it matches my color scheme like that would be I think that would be like a funny joke to make and just be like yeah I drink these ones because they match my color scheme but it actually worked out that they're my fla favorite flavors so, <laughs> so it, it's like the the best possible coincidence that could have happened like I just happen to really love the monster flavors that are that match my color scheme. <laughs> kind of feels like it was meant to be a little bit. It like they did it for me. Maybe. I know they didn't, but a little part of me likes to tell myself that sometimes and pretend I'm important. <laughs> also, Tay, hello. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. And floral shop. Pink monster goes kind of hard. Oh, it does. I love it so much. I think the pink one is my flav my my flavor I <laughs> favorite. I keep trying to add an L when I'm saying favorite. I'm going flavor in my mind and I'm saying flavorite. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. Yeah, it's my favorite. That's that's my favorite flavor. It's just my favorite. And thank you for the hydrate too. I will have another monster sip. But yeah, the, the Ultra Rosa is my favorite. I said it. I said the right word. Ah! Oh, found a 10 pack that has pink and white but no teal. And a different pack with teal and white but no pink. Oh! I wish they did one that was just the pink and teal. That would be the ideal for me. Like, the, the white is... I do like it. But in my top three, it is third. The white can is third. Uh, the teal can, the, the Ultra Fiesta, that's second place. First place is the Ultra Rosa. I, I love it. It's it's kind of interesting because the first time I tried it, I wasn't sure what I thought of it. I didn't know if I, I really liked it a lot or not. And then the more I drink it, the more I'm like, this is just my favorite. I just love this. <laughs> and Timochi, hello. House Flipper, I'm flipping house. I I added lights. The house has lights now. Uh, last time I played this, like, two months ago. <laughs> Actually, it might it might be longer than two months. I think it was March. No, it is. Yeah, that's two months ago. I'm. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how to count. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it was two months ago. It's been two months since I played this. But last time I played it, I bought this house, and it was an absolute wreck. I said absolute again. I'm so mad at myself, and. I spent the end of the last stream just, like, cleaning it up, tidying, making sure the walls were actually walls. And so now it means we have the blank base and it's just ready to decorate, which is the exciting part. And I still don't know how I want to decorate it. I don't know what I want to use the rooms for, how I want to lay it out. But, oh, you found the, the Lurie Monster Pack that has the pink-white teal? They don't even do those here, I don't think. I've, I've never seen one. Uh, I just I just end up either buying the individual cans or I will go on to yourcocacola.co.uk and buy a pack of 12. 
by like the little pallet of 12 of them. <laughs> it's it's kind of gotten to the point where if I run out of monster, I will I will go onto like the the bulk buy website and I'll just buy like 36 cans in one go. <laughs> it just works out so much cheaper than buying them individually or buying them in the the smaller multi packs. It works out like a really really good price. You found it. Wait. Sarah Cat, wait. You found a 12 pack that has 12 flavors including the Liri 3. What are the what are the the other flavors? I kind of feel like I need to buy that too. I still need to do my monster taste test stream. I want to I want to do a monster taste test stream at some point. I want to do like a a tier chart like a ranking thing <laughs> and see where I where I rank monster energy flavors but uh, I haven't gone around to that because I've not I've, I've been too lazy to go and buy the flavors <laughs> I think it would be really fun though I think it'd be so good uh, don't know if US Amazon will do me any good maybe not it might not I I know that the caffeine content is different in UK and US monster which which is something I didn't actually realize until recently, but uh, I was talking to Geist because Geist is pregnant, so the caffeine stuff is like a real thing to consider. And we were talking and there was just the moment of, wait, UK Monster has way more caffeine. Hold on. <laughs> Which is so funny to me. Like, I didn't think they would be different. I was like, well, it's the same brand. They're going to be the exact same, right? But no, there there are different ingredient amounts. It's so wild. <laughs> Send me a Liri link. Yes, thank you. Oh, you're not liking to waste food. Could never do a taste test thing on your own. I'll oh, see it. That wouldn't be a problem for me because even with fizzy drinks, I'll still drink them when they're flat. And with Monster Energy, even if I don't like the flavor, I won't waste it. I will still be like, okay, I'm I'm finishing this can because I'm not going to waste it. So I'm just going to have loads of open cans in the fridge for a while <laughs> and just work my way through them. But I won't be wasting them. I'm that that's like my that's a big thing for me as well. It's like the reason why I don't try a lot of foods, I think. Like there's a lot of food that I want to try, but I don't want to get like a whole portion of the food in case I don't like it. And I'm I'm way more picky with food than I am with drinks. Like with a drink, even if I don't like the, the flavor of it, I can still just drink it if I like hold my breath and block my nose. With food, if the texture is a problem, I physically cannot eat it. So I'm so I'm always really reluctant to try new things. And the only reason I've tried a lot of food that I've really grown to love is because I visited friends like I'll visit friends they'll be cooking food and they'll be like hey do you want to try a bite because then you can know if you like it or not and if you do we'll make it for you next time but if you don't like it it's fine because it's just our food and we keep eating it and that's that's how that's actually how I discovered I like curry it took me about 20 years of my life to try curry <laughs> And now we have curry nights every Friday. It's so funny to me. But yeah, I'm I'm really, really sensitive to textures. <laughs> Curse your picky palate. Oh, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. I'm, I always feel so bad because like whenever I go to eat at a restaurant, I feel like the biggest pain in the butt because I'll be like, can I have this? But can we remove this and remove this? And also remove this. <laughs> and by the time we're getting to the end, it feels like I'm just ordering a different dish entirely. I, it, it's, it's, it's why I don't really like eating out unless I'm going to a place where I know there is a dish that I like. <laughs> uh, you basically eat anything, but taste testing involves getting a bunch of different things and opening them all. Yeah, that's that's the thing. That's the thing. It's. I mean, I guess it's OK if you do it like with a group of people. Because if you have, like, a big group of people to do it with, then it's not a waste. You can all just have a bit. It's probably the best way to do it. Oh, how am I on sushi? Oh, sushi, I'm... Yeah, I'm the same. I, I like the taste, but 
I cannot have raw fish sushi and I also don't like seaweed like the texture of seaweed the texture of fish I can't handle I can have rice balls rice balls with cucumber I adore with all my heart but I have to take the seaweed off and yeah I'm it's a shame because I really wish I I did like sushi I really want to like sushi but it's one of those foods that I I can't really eat <laughs> But it's usually like, if I end up going to like a Japanese restaurant or something with friends, uh, they usually do yakisoba. And I love yakisoba noodles. Yakisoba is my favorite. I, I love soba noodles. <laughs> yeah, it's such an interesting looking food, right? It's, it's so good. And I always, I know so many people who adore sushi. But yeah, I I always I struggle with the the seaweed and also just like raw fish textures. It's always texture based for me. Like there's there's very few food I can think of where I actively dislike the taste. Uh, I don't like the taste of tomato, and I don't like the taste of ham. But I do like pork. And. Oh, and I don't like the, the taste of mushrooms either. Mushrooms, I can always taste if there are mushrooms in a dish. Even if the mushrooms are removed, I can still taste if there have been mushrooms in a dish. Mushroom is like one of the the few flavors to me that I I, I cannot I cannot have. <laughs> but uh, other than that, there isn't really much like flavor-wise I don't like. It's it's always texture-based. <laughs> My tongue just doesn't like how things feel. Smoked or cooked ham? Both. I've tried both, and I just... I don't know what it is. Something about the, the flavor, I, I just... I don't like. With tomato, is it plain tomato, or does it extend to sauces? It extends to sauces as well. It's... The only pizza that I like is if the pizza is so cheesy that you can't taste the bit. The, like, the, <laughs> like the tomato sauce. Like, just heap, up, heap it up with cheese. Just... A cheese, cheese and cheese pizza. <laughs> but yeah, I have had pizzas before and I've liked them, but it's it's been like either it's a different sauce, it's not tomato sauce, or there has been so much cheese that you literally can't taste the tomato. <laughs> but yeah, pizza is another thing that I didn't think I liked for the longest time until somebody said to me, hey, have you ever had a pizza with white sauce? And I was like come not with tomato? Like, my little brain always thought that pizza was pizza-based tomato cheese. I thought those were, like, the explicit rules. I didn't think I could get a pizza without tomato. <laughs> so when I discovered there were other pizzas, I was like, whoa. Whoa, my world has opened up. <laughs> it's the same thing I had with pasta, actually, as well. Same thing with pasta. Like, I, I didn't think I liked pasta because all of the pasta dishes I've had have had, like, a tomato-based sauce. And then I was introduced to pesto and I had pesto pasta for the first time. I was like, I, I love pasta. <laughs> Certified non-Italian. I am. I'm, I'm so very not Italian. If, if Italian people saw what I did to pizza, they would probably cry, honestly. But yeah, it's it's been the kind of thing where I always feel a little bit awkward not liking tomato because like tomato with pizza, there's ketchup for fries. Whenever I say like, I don't want any ketchup, people will be like, you don't have ketchup on your fries, what? You don't have ketchup on your hot dog, what? It's, I just, I, I like a lot of things plain. I'm a plain person. I've opened this menu for ages and I've forgotten what I was going to look for. I think I was going to buy paint. Yes, I was going to buy paint. I was going to buy some paint because I figured if I'm painting, then I can at least be absentmindedly doing something while I talk. <laughs> yeah, let's get some white paint. What is the difference between stucco and Venetian plaster? Let's go stucco. I think I've I've just bought stucco this whole time, so let's just go with that one. Boom. 
but yeah, I, I figured I can at least start doing some painting while I chat because, like, let, let's be real. My house flipper streams are just chatting streams. <laughs> I forget to play the game a lot of the time, but it's fun. Oh, which paint did I want? Is it that one? No, I don't think it's the faded I want. It's, was it pale? <laughs> Uh, there's there's faded and there's vibrant, but I think the faded is too pale. But the vibrant's gonna be too bright. Yeah, this is way too bright. This is this is like fuchsia levels. I I want no. The purples are very purple. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to go with faded. Which one though? I guess that one could work. Let's get this one and see what it looks like on a wall. Because it might look different once it's actually on the wall. Let's just do a little bit. Let's do a, a test swatch. Oh, that's really pale. Oh, but that's a really nice shade, actually. Oh, oh I like that pink. This, this is a good one. This is a good one. Let's hope I remember which one it is. Oh, you don't mind plain fries, but you like them with ketchup or mayo, too. Not both, though. Never both. Oh, I can't imagine mixing ketchup and mayo. Oh, you never knew there were alternatives to tomato sauce on pizza until you started working at a pizzeria and bar. Oh, I bet working there would... Would really, like, introduce you to all of the, the possibilities. <laughs> Thank you for the head pat too, and the snake. Ha ha ha. I like this though. I like this shade. I think this is a good pink. Right, I need to decide... Which walls I want to be pink, which walls I want to be white, and which walls I want to be teal, because there's going to be some teal in here. There is going to be teal. The question is, which, which teal? Maybe that one? That looks quite nice. Let's, let's try this on the wall. Let's see what this looks like. This is just my little swatch wall now. Doing little paint swatches. I like that one. Put it put it next to myself. Yeah, that looks good. I, I like this teal. <laughs> oh, it's a little more greeny than I'm I'm comparing it to my my stream overlay at the moment. It's a little more greeny than my stream overlay one is. But I like it. I like this one. And behind this smile, hello! Welcome! Walks into a pink room. Ah, Liri was here. It is true. It is true. And then I add the teal as well, and you're like, ah, Liri was definitely here. The more I look at this now, the more I think I want a slightly darker pink. So let's copy the style. No, it's not that. It's duplicate. Oh no, that just makes the whole paint pot. That's not what I want. I'm just gonna have to find it. <laughs> I think I want a pink that's slightly darker than that. Maybe that one? Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, you got mushroom sauce. Oh, that sounds like a nightmare to me. Uh, truth be told, you still don't really mind eating fries with ketchup and mayo, but if you ask me, you'll always pick one and only one. That's fair. I went a bit higher that time. That's better. I think this is more the pink I want. For the house, I might use both. I think I might use both of these pinks, actually. I like them both. Like highlights and lowlights have, have a bit of each. <laughs> I like these. And then of course we have white. White white is white. We all know what white looks like, but I'll I'll put the swatch up to make sure. Oh, I made that one too long too. Okay, that's a stylistic choice now. I meant to do it like that. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be the colour scheme for the house. This is gonna be the colour palette. Now it's time to decide what shall be which colour. Oh, actually this light pink? I think I might use this for this little entrance area. If I do all of this in the light pink, 
And then I think I want most of the walls in here to be white. And then have like a big color feature wall along this wall where the swatches are. Oh, I don't know if that would make it too stark though if there's too much white. Hmm. Yeah, maybe multiple colors per wall. Yeah, that's, that sounds like a good idea. Wait, I could always do a, like a half and half thing, like have like a, a false skirting board. Like, you know how you can have like the, the panels that come up just like part way and then the rest is painted. I could do that and go like this all the way around. Identical to the color swatches. I, I love them. They're good colors. Uh, I mind if you vent about something unimportant. Um, depends what it is. Um, I like to keep the streams as like a like a bit of like a cozy space. So if it's something like super serious, then I would like to ask you like avoid bringing that up. But if it's just a little thing, like you're just like, oh, this thing happened, and you just want want me to go like, oh, I'm I'm sorry to hear that. Then that's okay. Like, so long as it doesn't go too far. I, I, I think you, I don't think you would go too far anyway, so. <laughs> I appreciate you asking beforehand. But yeah, we're just chatting at the moment, so. If you want to get something off your chest. We are, we are just here to chill. I like this. I really like this one. Yeah, I think I like having the light and the dark. I think... I think just the light on its own would be a bit too wishy-washy, but just having the darker pink would make it feel a bit dark. Um, wow, you don't say. <laughs> but no, I like this. Oh, I might not even do all of this pink. I'll just do like these two walls. Also, are you proud of me? I'm pink. I'm I'm painting without the outline guidelines on. I've probably made a mess of the walls outside. I've probably painted up onto the balcony. Doesn't matter. And Brindley, hello, welcome, welcome. Cat house, it's happening. Wait, I can actually show it from the outside now that it's daytime in the game. Look at this. This is my house. This is my house. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to make it mine. Like this, this is going to be pink on the outside too, by the time I'm done with it. Like mark my words, this will be so pink. <laughs> but I, I just, I really love the architecture of this house. Like as soon as I saw it, I was immediately just like, ooh, I love the shape of this one. I like this. And so I like, I, I, I bought the barn to begin with, because I thought it would be a nice plot of land. I could work on it quite nicely. Um, Realised you can't delete roofs, so I was kind of limited to the original barn. And I'm moving into this one instead. Hehehe. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, so it's nothing bad. You're just giddy. Oh, that. I feel like when I when I see when I see vent, I always kind of think it means something negative. I I don't. I don't think it's like venting if you're sharing a positive thing. That's just like sharing. <laughs> sharing joy. But oh, you've prepared a D&D 5th edition campaign for a couple of friends. Utilizing a translation of Final Fantasy XIV classes so everything is homebrew. Ooh, that sounds amazing. That sounds so fun. A uh, little anxious about the encounter balancing because you've never run anything fully, fully homebrewed before, but excited to start. That is exciting. That sounds so exciting. Yeah, I, I don't know. I... I don't know. I just say, like, can I share something I'm excited about? Like, <laughs> but that's so exciting. I love the thought of that. I love the thought of, like bringing in Final Fantasy 14 skills like I would love that because uh, Final Fantasy 14 I am a monk main I really love monk in Final Fantasy 14 but I don't really like playing as a monk in other other like settings and other systems so I love the thought of like a homebrew D&D &D, but with 14 monk I would love that <laughs> Uh, 
I still see it as venting because it's you opening the word hatch and letting out whatever's in there. That's the best thing to do, though. It's it's why I stream. That's what I do. I'm just here spouting nonsense the whole time. It's great. You have a gunbreaker and a dancer, and you'll be not so sneakily providing them with a sage NPC. That's That's a good plan. That's a really good plan. Yeah, like, that's a really nice way of, like, making sure the party's well-rounded, too. Like, if you have limited players and you realize there's nobody, like, to tank, then you can have an NPC tank. Or if there's nobody on the healing side, then this character appears like, uh -huh, it seems you need some healing. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I'm really excited for tabletops, uh, tabletop stuff two at the moment uh, because um, I, I used to do a lot of tabletop stuff and then a lot of bad stuff happened last year that put everything on hold for a really long time but uh, last week for the first time in ages and ages uh, the, the tabletop group got together and it was really nice getting like to hang out and get ready and stuff and we're going to be starting or like resuming our campaign soon so I'm really excited for that I'm, I'm really looking forward to it uh, gotta go AFK that's fine that is absolutely fine I said absolutely again why do, why do, why do I keep saying that <laughs> but oh that sounds so fun yes I would love to see that but Yeah. oh you're finally back to weekly D&D oh heck yes I'm so glad yeah, it's been like, it has been, we we haven't done any tabletop sessions since last September. It's been that long since I was doing like my, my weekly tabletop stuff. And I'd been doing that for like, we'd been doing it for like five plus years. Like stopping that was really, really weird and kind of hard as well because I'd gotten so used to like having that time set aside so it became like empty time when I would dwell on my thoughts which was not good but uh we 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 did like play a lot of games in between that time so it's not like we just didn't talk for half a year <laughs> but we we did a bit of Baldur's Gate 3 we, we played what was it for the king we played some for the king together and that was a lot of fun and we just like chat and stuff too but now we're like getting back to sorting out the tabletop aspect and we're going to be like resuming the the roleplay sessions and I'm really excited for it. I'm so excited. It's not Dungeons and Dragons. It's um it's a homebrew uh Call of Cthulhu campaign. Cuz the Call of Cthulhu system is so good. It's it's all based on D100s. It's all based on percentile dice. And it's basically like you, you have your skills at a certain level and then you have to roll below your skill to pass it. So like if you get a one, that is like a, a perfect score, critical success. And then if you're rolling like a 97, it's like, well, I'm screwed. <laughs> but it's so good. It's such a good system. I love it. And a waffle off. Hello. Yeah, you've been very busy and only just getting back to a schedule for sessions. Oh, it's so nice to resume it. I feel like it feels so, so much more special after not doing it for a while as well. Like making the plans for our new session, I'm excited for it because the way we did it before, it felt weird to just continue as though nothing had happened with our campaign. I'm dancing around what happened quite a bit. I, I will say now, like, uh, content warning for death. Uh, close your ears if <laughs> if that affects you. But um, a really, really good friend of mine passed away last September. Uh, I, I ended up, I, I stopped streaming for a little bit when it happened as well because it hit me very hard. And like we'd, we'd been doing like weekly tabletop stuff online for the longest time. And it was very sudden out of nowhere just health just stopped and yeah that was really really hard to deal with for a while but yeah we just we thought it, it didn't feel right to just continue as though nothing had happened so what uh what my lovely lovely gm did is he wrote up like 
an interlude story, like an entire story about like what happened after our last session and like before our, what our next one will be as to like what is going on with the characters. And what I'm basically doing is I've decided that my character I was playing before, she is, she is done with this shit. She's out of there. <laughs> She has decided she's noped out. She's like, I can't deal with this. And her older brother has stepped in and gone, this is too dangerous for you. I'm going to take care of this. Don't worry. You go to a different state. Go somewhere else. I will take charge of this. And so now I'm going to be playing my old character's brother as my character. <laughs> and I'm really excited for it because he's a really... He's very stoic, he's very scientific, mathematical brain, and we're doing a Call of Cthulhu campaign with um, unimaginable beasties. So seeing how he reacts to that is going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really, really excited for it. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be so interesting going from my previous character, who was the cutest, brightest little sweetheart, to just this stoic, disbelieving, kind of grumpy guy. <laughs> I think it's going to be fun. It's one of the things I really like about tabletop. I love just creating different characters. Like I've got so many, so many characters with such vastly different personalities and it's so much fun. Uh, it sounds rough. Yeah, it, it was rough, but it's, it feels nice to be getting back to it. It feels healing. It's, it's nice. <laughs> And it's like, it's always going to be a bit weird, but it felt weirder not doing it, honestly. So I'm, I'm excited. And Destiny Kim too. Hello. Welcome, welcome. What a coincidence. You're also resuming a D&D &D campaign soon. Oh my goodness. Everyone is, everyone's kicking up the campaigns now. It's campaign season. I love this. I love that so much. Right, I've been walking around with this teal roller trying to decide which of these rooms I want to be teal, and I don't know. I don't even know what I want these rooms to be. I should probably decide on that before I start, like, painting more things. <laughs> because I think I do want to separate this room. I think I do want to make this, like, an individual room instead of having it all open plan. I'm not sure where the doorway would be, but I can just... I'll, I'll do this for now. <laughs> like that. Boom. Making a wall! At super fast speed, because I've got all the perks. Yeah, also, really appreciate DMs who do stuff like that to help players with closure and feeling comfortable. Yeah, I think it helps that I'm, I'm, I'm doing the campaign, it's... It's just with my best friends. It's we we've been best friends for so so long. They they're like family to me. <laughs> so that makes things a lot easier as well. But yeah, oh, it might be that school season is ending. Oh. I didn't even think about that. Of course, everyone's like taking their finals and stuff. It's going to start being being summer soon. Everyone's going to be on like school breaks. That makes a lot of sense. I never remember how big the doors are. One, two, three, four, five. This is five wide, so I'm gonna use that as a as an idea. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll build it here. Whoop. Okay, let's build this. Oh, you're in the middle of a campaign where you're collecting cooking ingredients in a world made of sweets. You're playing a little bug collector who came to the area because sweets attracted the best bugs. That's so cute. That's so cute. I love that. Oh, I love that. That's great. She's adorable. She sounds adorable. Oh, I love that. Oh, oh you just finished finals two weeks ago. Now it's back to your summer job. Oh, work time. Think of the money. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, I don't know how tall the doors are either, so I will also leave that. But that's going to be a room now. I don't know what room it will be. It will be a room. 
Right, part of me's like, what if I could make this a bathroom, maybe? Though, I don't know how weird it would be to have the bathroom here, because I was thinking of having the kitchen here. It might be a little uncomfortable. I don't know. Like, if we go up here, I was thinking this could be, like, a nice sitting area. This could be my bedroom. And then I guess this could be the bathroom. Oh, yeah, wait. If I make this, like, a nice little loungy sitting area, this is my main bedroom. This is the bathroom. Then downstairs, this will be, like, open plan living kitchen area this can be a storage room for food and other storage as well and then this could be my little streaming room this can be my my office oh i think i'm gonna do that i think that's i think that's the plan i think that's what i'm gonna do yeah i think i like that oh welcome back and welcome back to the tabletop gaming fold. Welcome back, everybody. I, lo I love... I always love hearing about other people's campaigns as well. Because Xander does a lot of tabletop stuff too. He He's part of a, a Dungeons & Dragons campaign at the moment. They're doing a Curse of Strahd, which is quite intense. And I love hearing about like the stuff he's been doing. Like, we'll just sit and chat and he'll just be like, Hey, you, you won't believe what happened in this session. It's so good because he he recently did his first time like being dm as well he started a campaign with some of his friends um i think it's i i don't know if it's based around anything else specifically i think it is D, &D but i think it's his own campaign i'm not entirely sure but he's dm for that one and he had his first session like not too long ago and afterwards he was just like that felt really good that was so fun <laughs> and it made me so happy oh, curse of strad is great i've heard i've heard really good things about it um i've also heard that it is best to play it with a dm who understands the group and knows what to um adjust considering a lot of the content in it <laughs> like i'm the kind of person where with fictional stuff i'm not really bothered by a lot of stuff because like it's fictional i'm i'm not like super like it doesn't really affect me but i can understand how like certain things could affect other people and yeah there's a i've heard it's very intense <laughs> but yeah i think his has been going pretty well he's it's really nice because we were talking and he was just like, I was so scared about feeling drained and like I haven't done a good job. But actually when I'd done it, I felt great. And I was like, that's that's a sign of a, a good a good session and a good uh, party? Party, I, I guess that, yeah, party is the right word. Yeah. Yeah, it makes D&D a little difficult having the full disconnect for fiction and reality, but it works out. Yeah, that's the thing. It's... I... I think, especially when roleplay is concerned, there's there's a real worry about, like, getting too into it because you are, like, taking on the role of the character a bit more compared to other things. Right, let's do this. How do I... Right, I'm actually going to set the borders this time. I don't want to make a mess. But uh, I've never had that problem because every time I make a character, it's... Like, when I'm doing tabletop stuff, I want to make the characters as different to me as possible because I think it's more fun that way. <laughs> so I've never had the problem of, like, getting, like, too close in that sense because it's always very much not me. Like, sometimes the characters, like, embody what I wish I had, what I, what I wish I could be. But I've never had a moment where I've just been like, well, this, this character is me. I, I like making the characters too much. Right, well, this is going to be the bathroom. So I wanted some teal here. But I'm not sure whether to do this wall as well. I think I just, I really just need more white. 
I think. I think I'm probably safe to duplicate the white and have another one upstairs so I don't have to keep running back down. I'm going to run out of paint many, many times. Right, I'm going to do these two white <laughs> and see how it looks. Like the two on either end. It's going to be a lot of painting. I have to admit, you consider Curse of Strahd to be a little overrated, but maybe it's just you not vibing with some of the tropes. That makes sense. Yeah, it's it's the kind of thing where everyone has an opinion and someone can love one thing and another person can hate it. So it's about like finding what you enjoy. Like if you don't enjoy it, then yeah, I shouldn't do it. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, actually, oh, I have an idea. I have a bathroom idea. I am also thinking I don't want this giant window in the bathroom because I would feel uncomfortable. So we're going to fill this in. I'm going to get like smaller windows, like higher up smaller windows. Right, let me see if I can find them first, so I know how big they're gonna be. Yeah, I guess these ones. Yeah, these ones! Okay. Something like this. That one is five by three. How big is that? Oh yeah, five by three! That's perfect! Oh, I can just put them in after I've done the wall! I'm Yeah, I'll just do that then. Let's just fill that up! Like that! But yeah, I've I've made some I've had some great tabletop characters in my time. Like one of my characters was a really cool woman who was just really athletic, really good at sports. She was very sporty. She knows how to hold her own. She's like she's got like martial arts training, but she's also terrible with people and she never knows what to say and she just kind of shuts down. So that was really, really fun to play because I was doing that with other characters who were very outgoing. So it would always be like, she'd be there kicking ass and then someone comes along and says hi and she's hiding behind somebody else. <laughs> she was a lot of fun. First name, cool. Last name, woman. Her name was Isabella. She was very cool. And then I had another character who was a little non-binary creature called Habit. They were a hacker in like a cyberpunk campaign and they they lived by their own rules. They they were just a force of nature and I actually caused a few problems in that campaign because there was meant to be a, a very cool encounter at one point and my little creature decided it would be smart to lob a grenade into a car and I rolled a natural 20. <laughs> So that encounter didn't happen because Habit was a little gremlin. It was great. <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun. I that was like one of my funniest tabletop moments. Ah, uh, see, I I don't usually get the good rolls on the like the rolls that count. Like one thing I very vividly remember is I I went to like roll for perception as we were about to walk down an alleyway to see if there was anybody there. And I rolled like a near perfect score, like Call of Cthulhu, I rolled like a 99, I'm pretty sure. And the DM was just like, yeah, there's nothing there. Sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Such a waste of a 99. Very funny though. Right, now let's stick these windows in. Let's have... Okay, so this is one, two, three. One, two, three. I can't put it there. Oh, there's, there's, some, there's a wall on the outside. There's walls on the outside. I've, I made a mistake. Hold on. I need to see what the outside of this, this room looks like. I think there are architectural walls. Yeah, yeah, the walls are built out a little bit okay, because of the windows. Okay, that makes sense. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm doing with this then. Hmm. 
I mean, I might just make the room bigger and make the wall thinner. Like, the outside wall would be a bit thinner. I just break this whole wall down. <laughs> just have a, a slightly larger room. Wait, let me sell that before I do. Get the money back from it. Ah. Hold on a sec. Uh, I want to I wanna read back in chat as well. Oh, your bug collector halfling is Elsie! A spore druid. You've tweaked to a bug druid. Oh, I can see how that could work so well. That's so good. And then Mel, you still fondly remember your artificer from the, the last campaign you played? A dwarf with a veritable chimera of backpacks, taller and wider than its bearer, full of bits and bobs and ends and gizmos. I love that. I love that so much. And then, oh, and then one of the sport druid's abilities is necromancy. So instead it's body animated by all the bugs in it. Wait, that's so cool. Just like a, a bug puppet. That is, that is terrifying and very cool. Wow. Uh, it's okay. At least you don't roll horribly on the completely optional stuff. Oh! Uh, played a session with some of your friends, one of whom asked whether he needed to roll to get out of bed. <laughs> You're like, no, but you can if you want. <laughs> and he rolled a nat one. I love that. That's so funny. That's so funny. That's great. Uh, it's funny because she's adorable and bubbly and surrounded by horrors. That's That's my favorite. I love when that happens. That sounds that sounds a little bit like my girl from the the campaign I'm restarting up. She's just like a lovely bubbly bundle of sunshine and she got dragged into this like Cthulhu eldritch beastie abomination. And it's just like, "Oh, you, you sweetheart, what's happened? How how did you end up here?" Yeah, I'm just going to like extend the wall out like this because then it still looks nice on the outside and I don't have to do too much changing in here um, um, I need to get rid of whatever this is as well and a boop oh look at that okay we we've had a bathroom extension Do I want to sell this, or do I want to pop it on the outside? No, I'll sell these. Oh, I missed a bit! Boop. Got it. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, you tried making a fully custom house in sandbox mode, and it... It doesn't look very nice. Oh, it's so difficult! It's so difficult! There are so many elements to, to consider. It's really tricky. Um, I, I tried sandbox mode for a little bit, and then I realized I had to, like, I tried to make a staircase, and it gave me, like, the individual stairs, and I was like, I, I don't have the mental energy for this right now, and I'm leaving it. <laughs> Which is why I like the base game, because I can just build off the houses that have already been made. Right, okay, this is actually the outside of the building now. So, I will be able to place the windows, and they will see the outside. Let's go like this. Super speed. Okay, wall has been rebuilt. Blahe Mama! Welcome, welcome! Hello, how's it going? Welcome to House Flipper, also featuring tabletop roleplay and Dungeons and Dragons chat. <laughs> I'm decorating my bathroom. Okay, right, let's let's get the windows in place. I think I do just want it to be white. Glossy plastic? Yeah, I guess glossy. But I want it to be pure. Pure white. Pure white. We don't want drab white. I don't. I think it's like the exact same color, but I, I want it to be pure white just on principle. 
Right, I don't want a windowsill. We do want shutters, yes. What? That's terrifying! No, we're not... I'm not making, like, jail bars for my bathroom. Right, and then I think I'd, I do one window that opens, like, on this side. Oh, which handle do I want? Let's have that one. And this one on this side. One, two, three. And then we'll move it to the other side and go one, two, three. Yeah, there we go. Windows full bathroom. Kee. -hee. It's going well, glad to hear it. Oh, figured out how it works mechanically with relative ease, but no sense of ar architectural as as and ha architectural aesthetics. Yeah, I I have that problem too. It's it's the kind of problem I have a lot in things like Minecraft. Like when I'm building a house in Minecraft, I will be like, okay, here is square. <laughs> but then I like just like building on it and adding out. Like you start with the square as like the beginning, but then instead of just confining yourself to the square, if you start like building extensions and adding little bits on, then it it may it gives it more of like a, a unique shape then and it makes it start looking really nice. I like extensions. And oh, you are watching Taskmaster New Zealand and the finale was so cute. The five comedians dressed up as each other. I love that. I love that so much. Oh, there's a there's a new season of Taskmaster in the UK that's just started like a few weeks ago now and it's so funny. The cast is so incredible. They 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 always pick like the perfect comedians to go on like I was I was going into the the season just now being like well I don't really I don't really know any of these people already I've heard I like I'd heard Steve Pemberton's name before but I didn't know any of the others and I was like well some of my favorite contestants in the past have been people I had never heard of before like I am a huge fan of Sophie Duca she is so good I had not heard of her before Taskmaster Rose Matafeo She's so funny. She's incredible. Hadn't heard of her before Taskmaster. <laughs> and this season's the same too. Like, I've there's so many. It's so funny. It's really good. It's a lot of fun. But I, I haven't watched the latest episode yet because uh, we watch it all together as a family. And because our mum's on holiday at the moment, we're waiting until she gets back <laughs> to keep watching. So it means I I haven't watched whatever the latest episode is. Anyway, this is looking good, and I actually have an idea for this wall. I don't know if it's going to look good or not, or if I'm going to even find what I'm looking for, but I have an idea. And the idea is to have a tiled wall, depending on if I can find any tiles that look nice. <gasps> Maybe these, with cubes in. We do this, but we make them bigger. I think something like this could be good. Huh. <gasps> Jack, your new tablet's here? Oh, that's exciting. Nice. Oh, good luck setting it up. I, I hope everything works well. Right, because I'm thinking now, if I go for like a lighter teal, maybe like slightly darker for the middle bit. I don't know what color- oh, that's the grouting! Okay. Yeah, we just keep that, like, grey. Like, slightly, slightly uh, bluish grey, but still grey. Ah, uh, well, it's not just rectangular either, but it still looks very block. Yeah, yeah, post it in video games. Either video games or chair things. Right, let's see what this actually looks like. I think this could look cool. I think this could look cool. Maybe. Let's see, I'm I'm doing the entire wall to see if I like it or not. <laughs> but I quite like this. Oh, actually I just I wanna tile this one too now. I just wanna <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna tile the bathroom now. <laughs> I like it. I like these tiles. 
Oh, I really like this. I don't think we need the white. I don't think we need the white. I think we just tile everything. I think that looks good. I like this. Yes, yes, I like this. And then I will paint the inside of the window frames with this teal as well. And it's going to look really good, trust me. Uh, did, <laughs> did you know I'm cute? Pass it on. Thank you. No, you. <laughs> uh, imagine if this game had a feature where you could design your own walls and floors. Like you design a single square and it replicates it for the whole wall. That would be really cool. Like make your own patterns like a pattern designer. That would be really, really cool. Uh, there, there is a way to do that already. Um, it's called mods. <laughs> but uh, I I haven't looked into modding for this game. I I wouldn't even know where to start, honestly. I'm, I'm very much a, a baby dabbler when it comes to modding in video games. Although I have I have made a few mods. Um I've I've made them and then never released them to anyone ever. But I have made some mods. I actually made a, a character mod for World of Horror, which is me. <laughs> so you could play as me in the game. But uh, I never like fully finished it, so I didn't want to release it. But I I do want to release that, so that that might be a a, a a sneaky little Halloween thing this year. There might there might be a, a Liri mod for World of Horror. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> babe, do you think this tile would look good in the bathroom? One sec, let me try it out in the house flipper. Okay, but it's it's a really good way of like testing things out and seeing how things would work. Just make your house in house flipper to redecorate. I think it'd be a good plan. Oh, and GT, hello! Welcome, welcome. Oh, pretty sure Sims 2 DS had a feature similar to that. Yeah, like where you just like make the one tile and it like repeats itself, it like patterns it. Yeah, you can do it in Animal Crossing. You can make like wallpaper tiles in Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh, thank you for the resub as well. 26 months. Oh my goodness. That's such a big number. Thank you so much for the resub. Oh yeah, rem oh you remember the sprite. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, I wonder if I Hold on, I want to see if I have it. I I have a feeling I may have been making the mod on my laptop so I might not actually have it on my desktop let me let me quickly check ba, ba, ba. world of horror I yeah I think it might all be on my laptop I love that the background music stopped right as I'm like searching for something I would like for the background music to come back please Oh, thank you. It listened to me. <laughs> How nice of it. It listened to me. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm so sure I transferred it over onto here. What what did I do with it? Hold on, let me Let me search my downloads folder. Uh Where would it be? Cuz I thought it might be it might be in like the the app data where you install the mods, but I'm not seeing it there. So I don't think I actually installed it. But I'm so sure I put it on this computer. Where is it? Oh, oh. I might have found it. No, no, I, I just found all of the, the character mods I downloaded for World of Horror. But not actually me. Not the me sprite I made. Nah, I can't find it. I'll have to find it afterwards. But uh, there, there's still the sprite for the, the thumbnail that I made. I can find the thumbnail for World of Horror very easily. I know where that is. Give me a sec. <laughs> The, my thumbnails folder is probably the 
most organized folder on my entire computer. Everything is sorted by the name of the game. But, um... Here it- oh, it's big. Boom. Here, this is the thumbnail I made for World of Horror and a little, like, character me on it as well. And then, I, like, I made this outfit and then I also made this outfit as well. There's the two. You can change. And that's that's what started causing problems when I was making the mod, because I was like, well, I'm going to make the outfits changeable so you can change the outfit in the mirror. And then I was like, oh, no, that means I have to make everything match both of them. So it took a little longer. <laughs> but it will it will be made. I'm, I'm going to release it whether it's finished or not. <laughs> but oh, I'm... It's so funny though, because I was going through and I was like, okay, if I was a character in World of Horror, what item would I start with? There's an energy drink item. Okay, that's sorted for me. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, if you if you play as if you play as Liri, then um you start with an energy drink. <laughs> Very useful. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, how's this posted? Nice, I'll check it out afterwards. I look forward to seeing it. What was I even doing here? Oh, I know what I was going to do. I didn't even say it out loud. I was going to buy a step ladder. Okay, I'm, if I'm buying a step ladder, it's going to be pink as well. There we go. Because I need to paint the inside of these little windows, but I can't see them from up there, so. I need a little ladder so I can get up here and do that. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Music stopped again. Stop it. There we go. Okay. Windows and walls are complete. Bathroom. Bathroom is ready. Right. How do I want to decorate this? Oh, actually, before I start with the rest of this decorating, I should... Take a look at these windows, because the windows are all black at the moment. But I don't want them to be black. I want them to be... White. We're going sleek and white. Hee <laughs> hee! And so now I think I should be able to... Copy style. And then I can just go boom. Oh yeah, look at that! Look at that! Makes things so much easier. I can just go boop, boop. Make it all match. And boop. Thank you very much. And a boop, boop. A boop for you, a boop for you. I really love that this is a an option. Like, it's so handy just being able to copy paste. It's so handy. The real monsters in World of Horror are the energy drinks I consume. It's true. It's true. I'm just here like, hey, World of Horror. I've got monster. Hee hee hee. Oh, to make your life easier, you made a character start with the curse scissors. Wait, that's so funny. Just... Oh, just, just create a character that's just got completely over-leveled stats in everything. Just have it so that you start with all of the best items and all of your all of your stats are like the highest possible. <laughs> oh, I need to change the Wait, can I change that too? Oh, I can. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, I forgot I put these lights out here. Ooh. Did I only put the one? I didn't just put a single light out here, did I? Apparently I did. I thought I was putting those lights all the way along the path. Apparently I only put a single one. <laughs> right, well, we need more lights out here for when it's dark. And I think it would be nice as well to have a switch inside to control the outside lights. Like maybe in this little entrance hall, there's a there's like a little switch over here to, to turn on and off the outside lights. I think that'd be nice. There we go, boop. Oh, but for these ones, do I do I want to go white or do I want to go pink or teal? That is the question. I 
feel like a teal could look quite nice. Oh, oh a teal could look very nice. Oh, I do like that. Oh, I do like this. I think I think we're I think we're going teal for the balcony bit. I like that. Yes, yes, I'm gonna do that. Alright, what else? Right, because I added this door here so we can get out easier. We've got a little light there. Um, I don't think we have any outside lights up here at the moment, so let's let's duplicate this light down here and actually do what I thought I'd already done and put them along the path so you can see where you're going. Make sure the path's light lit up so you don't get lost in the dark. Do I want to count these and make them really, really neat? I think I do, actually. I think I want to make them neat. Okay, so we got the corner here. And then the other corner is here with a mushroom at the moment. I'm moving the mushroom. That is where the light goes. But now let's... I'm, I'm gonna count like the squares so like in between the four dots that's one square so I'm gonna go so it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten put it there so I can move this is 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. There's 27 gaps in between here. So we go nines. So we go nines, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to have to move this bush. This is going to be in the way. Boom. And then I duplicate again. I think there, there is, it's gonna be off by like one, I think, but it's not gonna be noticeable because they're so far apart. So then we'll do it from the other direction. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's gonna be this spot. There. And then I think the gap between those is gonna be 10. If my maths is correct, but that's fine. It looks fine. It looks nice. Does it? it, it is it more? It, it looks like it's more, actually. I don't think I know how to do maths. Let me see how many there is. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, yeah, there's, there's nine in between. So there's like eight in between there, nine in between there, eight in between there. Why does this look so much bigger then? It's like one space. You know what I'm going to do? They're going in the middle. They're going in the middle of the dots. There. Okay, yeah, that looks better. <laughs> there we go, that looks nicer. So from each one, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces, and then it's on the next dots. Okay. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I lost, I lost count because I moved my camera too quickly. <laughs> Thank you for throwing something at me. <laughs> I got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it's on the dots. There. Okay. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
It's on the dots. There's a bush in the way. There's a bush in the way. <laughs> Thank you for throwing things in my face. They're nice things. They're always nice things that are thrown at me. You know what else is nice? Um, hydrates. Because then I, I drink my monster. <laughs> I mean, I could just, like, take a sip of my monster anyway. But there is nothing stopping me from just drinking my own drink. Oh, but it's helpful when that happens. Thank you for the hydrate. And Gigi, oh, time to shower and go. Kitty said a cute cat. Oh, my goodness. Yes. I hope the cat is lovely. I hope you, I hope you take photos. But, yeah, I hope the work goes well. Thank you for stopping in. And thank you so much for resubbing as well. Let me have a sip of my monster. Make sure I'm fully refueled for the flipping. <laughs> Thank you. Right, okay, so we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it's on the dots. Boom. And then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it's on the dots. Yeah, and then we have the, the light that is embedded in the, the stairs here, so we don't need another one. Look at that! They're so neat and nice. Excellent! We've got our outdoor lights now. Right, so now I'm going to make a light switch for the outdoor lights. So I'm going to duplicate... Uh, I'm going to duplicate a light switch that only has one light attached to it, because otherwise I'll have to individually remove all the others too. And then we put it... Let's put it, like, here so it's, like, out of the way and very clear that it's an outdoor light. And now we edit the wiring. Um, that is not part of that group. Let's check this is still wired properly. Uh, yep, that's still good. Okay. So now this is going to be connected to all of these outside lights. This is the outside light switch. You just flick one switch and all of the outdoor lights spring to life. Boom. Perfect. Let's test it out. Oh, thank you for wasting points too. <gasps> you have a bunch of them. Also a video of him chasing a fly and consuming it. <gasps> I love that. I love cat videos. I'm such a sucker for cat videos <laughs> but thank you for wasting your points gg and also suzume thank you for the posture check i will have a big stretch i'm already mostly sitting up straight as well please be proud of me i'm i'm wow. looking after my posture for once wow all right light switch here we go boom are they on? They're all on! Oh, look at that! Oh, it's so nice! Ah! And then I go back in, and when it is time to sleep, we go boom. And all the outside lights are off. Oh, I love that. I think it would be nice to have, like, an overhead light here as well. Actually, I have an idea about what I want to do this entrance hall like if you look at a lot of the architecture it like it comes out a little bit and it has this kind of lip almost over the edge i think i want to replicate that here and then have like a strip light underneath it so then the strip light will it'll only really like be on when it's like late at night meow but surprise it'll just be like on the underneath and look nice is my plan at least also meow surprise thank you oh my goodness my hair has been ruffled up thank you for the hair change boop but yeah i think i think i want to have just like the strip light underneath here because i think that would look really nice when it's dark just there's no lights on in the house, but then have like strip lights along here and strip lights along the top. Like colored ones too, not just like plain white. 
I think it would look cool. I hope it would look cool. If it doesn't look cool, I'll just remove them. <laughs> but I think it'd look really good. Right, I need to decide what kind of finish I want for the outside. Because I do want it to be pink, but I don't want it to be, like, overwhelmingly pink. I don't want... I don't want you to look at it and think, oh, that's so pink it's ugly. I want you to look at it and go, oh, that's Lily's house, isn't that nice? So, like, for these lips, like, for the roof and stuff, I might make those white. And keep a fair amount of white and then make the rest of it some kind of pink. I don't know if I just want to paint it pink. Or if I want, like, a, like, pink panels or something. Because paneling could be nice. We have it like pink wood panels. Hmm. Because we could do like something like like this, like these kind of panels. Oh, I think maybe these ones. Yeah, something like that. What would that look like? Oh, that's that still feels like... It feels very pink. It feels extremely pink. I don't know if it would be too pink. What would this look like? We're going to test it. Is this the wrong way round? No, it's not. It's the right way around. It just looked that way. Oh, no, wait. I did glossy wood. I don't want it to... Uh... No, it's it's glossy painted wood. I, I didn't mean to pick the glossy wood. But uh, I think this would work. For, like, outside panels. Like, if it's... Th the glossy wood feels like an indoor thing. <laughs> it feels like a very indoors... Kind of look. I want something that would be good as, like, an outdoor... Yeah, that would be just painted wood, I guess. Or stained? No, I think stained wouldn't get enough of the colour. Let's Yeah, let's go painted wood panels. And then it was this one. And we make it pink. Let's see, <laughs> let's see what this looks like. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like that there's a seam. Or, I guess I don't mind that there's a seam. I don't like that there's a seam that's not symmetrical in my wall. <laughs> I think we can work with this, with this wood. I, maybe just not the cut pattern? Can I change that? Yeah, we can just change that here. Ooh, what, ooh, what would that look like? I really could do with... Let's, let's go to the store so I can preview it here properly. Ooh. Something like this might work. This feels like more of an outdoors thing. Let's try that. So I need to make that that way. Right, what does this look like? Oh, it's so dark, though. The ridges are so dark. It's... Uh, no, I, I don't... I don't like that. <laughs> what if I don't... What if I don't cut... What if I don't have a cut pattern? What if I just have the wood? What would it look like if I just have the wood? You know what? I think this would be fine. I think... I think this would be okay. I think I've got the grain the wrong, the wrong way around. Yeah, I need to, I need to move the grain around. <laughs> We're almost there. Rotate two, one. 
There we go. Okay, the green is going in the right direction now. I think this is it. This is going to be the outside. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Like this, yeah. How many different hair do I have, by the way? Well, um, I have this hairstyle, and then I have, like, when you brush it out and straighten it. Oh, that was the wrong button. Uh, <laughs> I just changed my outfit as well at the same time. And then there's also the, the hairstyle, like, with my, my comfy model, with my chibi. And that one's more, like, curled in. So it's, like, it's not, like, the, the rough flicking out look like this. It's more, like, it curls in a bit. But my hair is always just pink and this length with a side part. <laughs> so, like, so technically I guess the answer to that is how many different hair do I have? I've got one. I have one hairstyle. Sometimes I, I ruffle it up a little bit, but it's it's still, like, the same hairstyle. Oh, I should get one wacky, wacky hair option. That... I don't know what I'd do though. I don't think it would look like me if I if I didn't have the pink bob and the side part. I feel like that's like a necessity every time. Like I can't imagine myself without the pink bobbed hair and the side part. Like maybe if I put extensions in. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll just stick a wig on. I'll ju I'll just turn blonde one day randomly. <laughs> okay. Well, we don't need that. Oh, I think this is going to look nice. I'm looking at it now from a distance. I, Yeah, I think this is going to work. I think this is good. I'm going to have to buy way more panels. But yeah, I think this is good. This is good. I'm happy. Here we go. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. I can't see because there's so many bushes in the way. Make sure I've got everything covered. Yeah, this is looking really nice. Right, now the question is, do I want to do the whole house like this? Yes. Yes, I do. I do. I do indeed want a pink house. Boop. Oh, I could do with changing the, the colors of like the the little skirting bits as well. I should do that. But uh, you say like I, I should get a, a wacky hair option. Do you have any thoughts on what you think would suit me? <laughs> like what kind of hairstyle do you think would look good on me? I don't know. It's something I don't really think about because I've, I've just gotten so used to this hairstyle it's it's just like this is just my hair oh no i have to hold it okay there we go haha -ha. also kura syllabus hello welcome 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 in welcome to house flipper i'm making my house pink which will come as a surprise to absolutely nobody. I just said absolutely again. That's three times this stream. I'm so hyper aware of it since playing Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Definitely Goku. Oh, I, I, I think I could pull that off. The, the Super Saiyan hair, like, completely sticking up. That'd be good. <laughs> oh, maybe something curled or big or... Oh, a punk look? Well, I... I, I do have, um, I do have this. I do have this as an option. I, I did forget about this until now. I, there, there is this. I do have my, my dracula -y look. <laughs> but it's so funny. It, it's, it's just like, oh, that's, that's when my alter ego comes out and starts singing my chemical romance. <laughs> I love, I love this pink. I really love this pink. Oh, giant drills. Oh my goodness. Like the super curly drill hair. That would be so funny, actually. I could I could literally have them as just little extensions that I clip on. 
Oh, what would I even look like? What would I look like with, with massive drills? I'm so curious now. Right, let's get some more of that back. Keep paneling the walls. I may have to go up the stairs to to fully finish off this wall. Because I can't see past the banister. <laughs> we'll see. And boop. And I'm going to carry this upstairs with me. Oh, maybe not even upstairs yet. Oh, there's a little bit down here too. I need to do that. I'm on the ground. Nice. I'm hiding. I'm crawling under the stairs to, to make my house pink. Good times. I don't even know what I'm making pink at the moment. I think I'm I think I'm paneling the foundation of my house. But I should do, so I'm yes. Make sure the make sure my house foundation is paneled. Okay, we're good. I think we're good. The pink is nice, no, exactly. I love pink. Not that anybody would ever guess, but I'm a big fan of the color pink. I think it's very nice. Right, I think I, I'm, I'm gonna keep this like, these two bits here, that's gonna be like the white border outline kind of bit. Oh, I could make the staircase pink as well, I think. Oh, what will it look like? Do I try it? Mmm, I'm... I should try it. I should make the staircase pink. Yes, I'm making the staircase pink. Okay, it's, it's just happening now. Also, Vicky Amaru, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. Hi, I'm making everything pink. It's great. I love this game. I'm currently decorating my own home. It started off in such a horrible, messy state, but slowly but surely, it is becoming beautiful. I'm gonna run out right before I finish this, aren't I? I can feel it. I can feel it. I'm gonna run out. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> That's okay. We just get more. Boom. Why not? Exactly. There is no reason to not make everything pink. So I know my I know what I must do. All of this. The whole staircase. The whole staircase is going to be pink. Even this, these bits on the inside. They are also going to be pink. Because <laughs> I can. That's going to be pink. That's going to be pink. That and that and that. Ba, 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 ba. And that's going to be pink. And now let's bring this upstairs and make the rest of it pink. Wait, hold on. <gasps> this bit's not pink. I nearly missed a bit. What is happening? What is what is wrong with me? How could I miss making it pink? Here we go. I'm too tall for this. Can I go? Oh wait. Oh no, I. <laughs> Like, I was crouching and standing up, and I was like, can't I get lower than this? And then I saw on my screen the option that said lay down, and I was like, oh, that's perfect. Let me lay down on the ground. And it just, no. It means to lay down my panel. Like, to, to lay it on the thing. I, it's, it's not about me. I can't lay down. <laughs> I just wanted to crawl underneath. I can't reach some of those. 
it's so awkward having to go around the edges. It doesn't matter how awkward it is though, I will I'll make it work. I will do it. Very awkwardly. At least I can just do that. But there's there's still one little bit there. Oh, can I do it from the other side? I can do it from this side, I think. Can I? I don't know which part it is. Well, I can I can pink all of this at least, so. Let me get the underneath of this. Can I... I can't see the underneath of this. I'm in pain. Please, the bit where the light is. I need to, I need to be lower down. I can't see underneath it. But I know it's there. I need to... Oh. There, yes. Oh. I got it. I got it. I couldn't even see it, but I got it. Okay, I'm happy. I'm okay. I haven't gotten this bit on the inside, though. Mm. Oh, no, I did! I did. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're good. Nice! Staircase success! It was tricky. But I did it. That bit's easy. That bit's easy. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I went a bit too high up there, but I can fix that when I, I go around the, the edges. No, oh, I left the, the other finish down here. Boop. Wait, actually, let's take that up with me. And pop that there. Oh, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. I'm This, this one feels... It already feels more like my home than the barn one ever did, honestly. Like, I'm I'm already really happy with this. <laughs> and I haven't even, like, put any furniture in yet. Ah, feels good. Yeah, and then, like, this, this, these two squares up here, I'm going to make it, like, like a white skirting? edge and then we're gonna put some strip lights underneath it so it just has like a really nice glow when nighttime hits like right now night is falling wait it's the perfect time to test it i need to get this done hurry hurry this is i'll just do this last like down wall for now. Oh, the music is so relaxing. I love it. Right. And then, yeah, I think I make these pink. Yes. Yes, look at that. Yes, I think I also make this pink. I want to make the wall behind it pink as well. Like, the, the bit I can't even see, but I, I see the outline of it. Yeah, I want that to be pink as well. Just making sure. Come on. Where are you? There you are. Oh, I saw a bit. There. There. Perfect. A little bit inside here, I do. Where is it? Where is it? There. I'm just here, like I see the outline for a second. I need, I need to get the right angle. There we go. Oh, perfect! This is perfect. Okay, let's let's very quickly get like the white for here. I don't know what kind of white I want. Might just stick with the painted wood 
again, but I'm wondering if I do like like the squares. I don't know how it will look is the thing. Let's uh, one way to find out. Okay, that looks quite good. I like this. Yeah, we're having the squares for the... Just for the, the little outline bit. We got squares. Because I love cubes. That is the reason. <laughs> just be like, oh, hey, I like I like your house. Why, why is it all squares on the outside? Um, I really love puzzle games with cubes in. So I decided to model my house based on that. <laughs> Right, yeah, I, I quite, I, uh, now that I look at it, I don't know what I think about it. I, uh, I'll leave it like that for now, just so I can get these lights in place. I may, I may change that. I think I will probably change that at some point. And then, yeah, I, I think this is the, the light I was thinking of. Oh, but I don't think I can change the, the color of the light. No, these ones are specifically just... Oh, would it be under decorations then? They're like light decorations. I'm just gonna search light and see what happens. <laughs> oh hey, hair straighteners! That's definitely what I was looking for. I thought there would be a way to have like colored lights or like fairy lights. Are there really no fairy lights in this? Oh my goodness. Hmm. Like LED. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I guess we're sticking with white, white lights for now then. That surprises me. I thought there would be other lights in here as well but no I've just searched for lights and like this is all that's here so yeah I guess we're going for this one <laughs> bring it up to like there I think it'll still look nice even with the white instead it's just not what I was thinking of Can I fit another one in? Yes. Perfect. And another one around the edge. And one over on this side. Yes, if it'll let me place it. Yes, thank you. And now we attach it to the light switch with all the other outdoor lights. This is just every single outdoor light on this one switch. <laughs> okay, and now let the moment of truth, what does it look like? I quite like that actually. Actually, I really like this. I really like this. Oh, I might even add like more, like another little light just in between. Why is this one like? Oh, hold on. No, that's not what I meant to do. I wanted to move it. Oh, it's because that one's like one square up. This one, it looks nicer when it's one square up, so. Do it for this as well. Yes. Oh, that looks really nice. Cause I'm like, I might even add just like a small, like circular light in between them as well. Just to fill in the gaps a bit, just because I don't like that there is a gap, but I think I can probably find a nice small light that would fit there. Yeah, like just like this one. Although this is like, <laughs> it's got like a disco ball effect. I don't know. <laughs> 
Maybe. Let's see how it looks. It's very sparkly. I think it's actually like doing like disco ball. No, it's not. Okay, I, I quite like that. No, I think it sticks out a bit too much. We'll leave it just with the, the strips for now, but I really like this. I love how this looks. Oh, I wonder... Hmm. If I move it along, would I be able to fit a fourth? <laughs> Hold on, I need to test something. For the fourth fit. Oh, it sticks out the edge a little bit. Hold on, this one isn't fully at the edge. I think I can, I think I can fit four along here. Let's just stick it in the middle then if I'm doing that. In the middle, all the way, oh. I think this is working. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, yes, that's what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Oh, yes. That will do until they add LED strip lights to the game. <laughs> oh, I'm really happy with this. I love how this has turned out. I think with this one, I'll just like stick it in the middle. Yeah. Stick it like that. Yeah, perfect. Hee <gasps> hee. My house is gonna be so pretty. Okay, having it lit up like this, I don't think I want the cubes. We're not gonna have the cubes here. I've decided. I like just the wood. We're just gonna remove the cut pattern again and have it... Oh, wait. Yeah, that one was rotated. This one, we won't rotate it, so it will go across instead of down. The wood grain, hopefully. Yes? Wood grain across? Yes! Oh, that's really nice. This is really nice. Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy with this. Oh, this is... Oh, it's so exciting. I love seeing everything come together. It's like, it takes so much work to get to the point where it starts, like, actually looking nice. But it's so worth it. It's so nice. Knowing that all of my, my hard work has led up to this point. Or, like, at least some of the work. I think some of the work was unnecessary and a waste of time. But that's fine! It's fine. Time enjoyed is never wasted, as I always say, as I waste time. <laughs> okay, and then... Did I do this side? Yeah. <gasps> Look at that! I did it! Oh, I really like this. I'm... It's my home. I might even make the door white, to be honest. Like... Combined with everything else here, I think it would look really nice if the door is just white. Yeah! Oh, it's so pretty! Wait! Oh, I love this! It's my home! This is my home, I'm so proud of it. Oh. Right, now we, we need this paneling for all these like two bits now all these bits which are just like around the edge like this we're doing all of these oh no not the ones going down oh I can make that pink as well Boop. this is gonna be a bit slower because I'm gonna I'm gonna overlap the pink otherwise 
I gotta be very careful that I don't accidentally smoosh it right here <laughs> and undo all of the, the pinkifying I did earlier. Going like this. Oh, I might. I can do that bit too. Yeah. And then along. Ooh. Carefully. Along here. And then here I can fix the bit I accidentally made pink. Yes. Ah, oh, perfect. I need to pink that as well. I am finding more which I must pinkify as I go along. But yeah, I think this wall... Yeah, we make this pink. And then this wall... You shall also be pink. Nice. Yeah. Oh, it's coming along really nicely. Right, I think my next course of action is probably bringing the scaffolding over so I can do things a little bit higher up. It's so ugly though. It's it's so broken. Pop it here. Boom. Okay. And we're gonna carry we'll carry up the pink and we'll carry up the white. Oh yeah, because there's the, the top up here too. I need to do that. Let's grab the white one. Got it. Oh, I forgot to put lights up here. I'm so silly. I love how I was like, yes, we need to add loads of outside lights so we can see outside. And then I just straight up forgot about the whole little balcony bit. Right. Let me quickly... I'm going to copy this light. I made it. And then these are going under here. Oh, this one's a bit further up than this one, I think. Yeah, because there's a little less space on this side. No, no, they're in line with each other. Okay, I don't know why I thought that one was further up. I think because there's more little venti bits here. Let's just if we do that. Yeah, look at that! Okay, we actually have light up here now, so I can see what I'm doing. Fabulous. Okay. Right, let's let's carry on with the white. The skirting. Oh, yeah, I need to do it along here too. What did I just Oh, this bit needs to be done too. I didn't even notice that. Oh my goodness, there's so many There are so many elements to this what is going on here? There's there, there are so many little crevices that need to be filled in. I did not even realize. I didn't realize there was like a whole little gutter system going on here. Oh. I might add the pink in there, honestly. Uh. Right, let's do the top of this. Where? There's the top. Now we do the little inside bit. Like that. I don't know if I want to change like this roof. Like the roof for the porch. I, I might just keep it like that for now. I may change it later on, but I think for now I'm going to leave it like this. <laughs> Thank you for the quote. <laughs> Thank you for the quote. I 
that that's a quote I say all the time. It's great. It is very quotable. It's 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 just like a catchphrase. It's just like, what if I make this pink? I suppose I must. Okay. Okay, and then this is gonna be pink as well. But the rest of this is still white. Is it white going? It's going in the wrong direction. I need to get the white with the green going down as well. For the, like... Vertical, for the vertical beams. I forgot the word vertical then. I was just like, what is the opposite of horizontal? My brain was just shouting horizontal at me. Like, the, the one that's not horizontal. Anti-horizontal. You know, that direction. <laughs> yeah, and then that is pink. This is very much pink. This is all pink. Oh, the music is so gentle whenever it's nighttime in the game. It's so nice. This is very pink. This is pink. That is pink. That is pink. That's pink. This is pink. Make it all pink. Yeah. Need more pink. <laughs> Unhorizontal. Yes, that's that's exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> that was so funny though, because I I could remember the word horizontal and my brain was just going, what is the opposite of horizontal? And all I could think of was not horizontal. Like, like the word vertical just fully left my brain for a second. Just like horizontal or down. <laughs> Antizontal. Horizontal. <laughs> Perfect. I think we got it. I think you're right. I think that's the word I was looking for. Also, Shy Pie, hello! Welcome, welcome. Welcome in. I'm I'm pinkifying my house. Which will come as a surprise to nobody who knows me at all ever. Welcome, welcome! I think. I think I've got all the bits that should be pink. I hope. There. That should be pink. Oh, I forgot the top of here too. Okay. Okay, those are the bits that should be pink. I got them. Oh, and I fell off. Oh, it's looking so good though. Oh, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. I'm so happy. Right, and then I, yeah, I, I need to make all of this pink. These are pink. Thank you. If I can reach. Ba, 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 ba. Can't reach the bottom ones. I can't reach the bottom ones from this angle. Ah. I'm going to need to find a, a different angle to reach them from. can very awkwardly do this one though oh my goodness this is the that is the worst angle <laughs> but yay there we go oh your your old final fantasy static memed on you until the very end about having referred to an angle as being less wide wait but that's that's just so normal just like yeah just the the, the less wide angle it it makes sense it makes more sense than um struggling about saying, like, not horizontal. Ah, <laughs> uh, it feels weird for the ground floor to have infinite light works and the top floor be shrouded in darkness. That's because I haven't done the top floor yet. It's going to have the lights. I'm, I'm going to have the lights everywhere. I just... The top is not done. <laughs> As you may tell by the bare bricks. 
I will get there though. I will get there. It's it's going to take me a little while. But I will get there. Right, more pink. And more white. Perfect. Hello, you're back. How goes house progress? I'm adding so much pink. The house is finally reaching its true form. It's I'm finally making it how it should be this whole time. The pinkening is happening. Very awkwardly, because there are so many weird angles in this game, but it's happening. I still need to read that. I reached. I can't reach that. Why can't I reach the bottom? The, the, oh, there. Oh, got it. And that one. I got it. The single pixel. Right, and then this whole little, like, alley gutter bit down here. This is pink. This is all pink now. Yeah, all of the rest of it will be white. Just this little bit around here will be pink. And then the little balcony bits of teal. It's so perfect. It's so perfect. I'm so happy with this. Oh, it's going to look so good. And then the walls will also be pink. Why did I put it on there? Can I reach from here? I can't reach it from here, okay. Uh. <laughs> Why did I put them on here? Whoa. Bam 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 bam. And oh oh I yeah, I just fell off. Okay. Oh, I just got reminded that you need to needed to update your Twitch pron ah, bleh, pronouns. Oh, what, what pronouns do you use then? If it hasn't updated. I don't know if I might have to refresh the chat thing to make it show up for the the chat stuff. <laughs> oh, seriously craving making a pretty house watching me play. I'm so glad. Honestly, this game is so relaxing. It's It really is just one of my comfort games. I love playing this game. It's the kind of game where I feel like I can do absolutely, I said it again, nothing for hours. And I still feel like, it still feels so rewarding. Like it doesn't feel like I've been doing nothing even when I have. I've, I've just been, it's just a really nice way to de-stress, I think. A very good game. I love it. Big fan. <laughs> I'll be an even bigger fan when they when they start with the the DLC for this game and add pets to it because that's the one thing this is missing now. I I I miss I miss Kevin and Jim. I need to bring them back. Where is the single pixel where I can get the third part? There. Fabulous. Oh, changed it to she, they. I see. I see, I see. I'm feeling demigirl lately because you've never fit in with standard girliness. Honestly, though. I, d I don't think. Wait, I just realized this has like a seam as well. I didn't even realize. You know what? It's okay. It can have a seam. They have to be wood panels in some way. It can have a seam. Like, I've... Even though I like, like, things that are, like, cute and pink and fluffy and girly and stuff, I'm... I'm I also... I've never really gone with, like, the stereotypes. I, I think, like, because I just don't really consider things I like, like, in comparison to, like, gender. I, I just, like, don't gender things like that. So I've, that's something I've never really thought about. But like, if it makes you comfortable, then fabulous. Ba, 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 ba. 
Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, it's, it's something I've always felt quite thankful for. Like, uh, before I before I came out as a lesbian, I, I went through a period of time where I was, like, questioning my identity quite a lot. And I'm really glad I got the chance to, like, go through that period of time, like, with really supportive friends and family who just, like, supported me with, like, whatever I was thinking, whatever I was experimenting with. And it made me realize that, like, gender, like, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just a girl. I'm just a... I am a girl. And it's, like, even though there are so many things where it's, like, well, a girl wouldn't do this... I'm like, well, well, I'm a girl and I do that, so I guess girls do do that, so you can shut up. <laughs> but yeah, it's the kind of thing that's really important to... Oh no, I, I covered the pink. It's the kind of thing that's really important to, like, explore for yourself and discover for yourself, because, like, a label that might fit someone could be completely mismatching and wrong for somebody else. Like, it's such a personal thing. Like, there's so many people who are like, oh, labels are bad, labels are terrible, don't label people. But I think sometimes labels are really important. Sometimes when you, especially when you find a label that you identify with, that makes you comfy, it feels a little belittling then to have people go, oh, well, labels aren't important, don't label people. Because it's like, yeah, don't label people if they don't want to be don't like force your own expectations on people but if somebody else finds a label and they're like this is me this just describes me so perfectly this makes me so comfortable and happy in who i am like don't don't take that away it's 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 all like such a personal thing but uh, i i do have very strong opinions because there's there have been situations with friends of mine who have been, like, they found, like, the perfect label for them. They're like, this is me. This describes me so well. And then there's other people being like, well, why do you have to label yourself? Aren't we all just people? It'd be nice if we lived in a, a world where that was okay, but everyone is so different that it's nice to have labels to, like, find people who like you have things in common with and share like similar experiences and stuff yeah yeah exactly it's like if you choose not to label yourself that is great like sometimes there isn't a label that fits sometimes or sometimes there are multiple labels that fit so you don't want to just choose one to however many of them and I think that is very very great but it's it's it really is such a personal thing but it's like for me like i i will happily label myself as a lesbian i don't hide it it's it's not the kind of thing like i don't just go up to new people i meet and go hi i'm a lesbian but it's also the kind of thing where if it comes up in conversation i'm not gonna like hide it i'm just gonna be like yeah like, if someone says, uh, oh, have you got a boyfriend? I'll be like, uh, no, uh, I'm gay. <laughs> but it's it's something that's come with years of practice, though. Like, I've, I've, I've been out for a while, and so many people talk about coming out. And as though it's like a one-and-done kind of thing, but it's not, because everyone always presumes the default... So every time you meet someone new, you're gonna have to like have to come out to them a lot of the time. So it's it's not just a one and done situation. But yeah, oh you you forget if you know the answer to this. Do I have a girlfriend? I don't. I don't. I'm single. I've been single for a long time. And like for a while I was a little upset. Like I I had a moment, like a, a quite a long period of my life where I felt inferior because I wasn't dating anybody but I'm now at the point where I'm like I don't really like crave that I don't really like care if I'm single or not 
Thank you for adding the quote too, and also thank you for the hydrate and posture check. Let me have a big stretch. Thankfully, I'm not shrimping at the moment. I'm actually, I'm sitting up straight already. I'm uh, the one thing straight about me. <laughs> but thank you for the hydrate too. But yeah, I'm like, I'm at the point now where like, if I, if I met someone who I really got along with, I would, I definitely wouldn't say no to being in a relationship. But it's also not something like that I actively seek out. Like I am completely fine being single. I have, I have all the love I really need from like my friends and family, to be honest, and Tiffany. So it's, it's not like I'm craving something I don't have. But yeah. <laughs> it is. It's really nice to get to that point. Also, I, I love as well. Just, my brain is rewired. I now presume everyone's queer by default. I feel like uh, it's... With me, like, I never presume anymore. Like, I'm... Everyone I meet, it's... I've... I've met so many people who are like, they have so many LGBTQIA plus friends, but they're straight. And then I'll meet other people who I think are straight and then they'll just drop that they have a gay life partner out of nowhere. So it's, I, I don't presume anymore. I just, I wait until someone says. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm the kind of person where like I've I've kind of gotten used to being single as well. And I like that. I'm I like that I like that I'm comfortable enough with myself. Now I think that's really that's the important part. Like that's the really important part to take from this. Like I, I think the reason I used to like crave a relationship was because I I didn't like my own company so I needed somebody else's at all times but I don't feel like I need that anymore like I I actually quite like myself now <laughs> it took a while to get to that point but uh I don't think I'm that bad I'm, I'm, I quite like myself I think I'm doing all right and it's been it's been really nice to to reach that point it's it's been a really really long road and if anyone else is struggling with um struggling to like yourself um you it you do get that even if it feels impossible i still have moments where i i have like full wait did i just duplicate the empty box i thought it would oh i'm so silly i thought it would just duplicate the item it just duplicated the empty box i'm a silly so Let me copy style. There we go. Sorry, what the heck was I talking about? I've lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I was I was reassuring people. Yeah, I still have moments where I, I feel very like imposter syndrome y. Like I'm I'm still kind of in that spot where I'm like, I can't believe I've convinced people that I'm cool. I'm I'm scamming everybody. Everybody thinks I'm cool, but I'm not. I'm I'm just tricking everybody. When are they going to find out? <laughs> but I think that's a very normal thing too. It's There's a lot of people who feel that kind of way. It's I feel like it's important to realize that it's very easy to see yourself negatively, but other people probably don't see you that way. And that's the bit that really keeps me going as well. Like It's another thing that's come with time but as time goes on it ends up being like well i've been friends with these people for a big number of years now and they still think i'm cool maybe i actually am maybe there actually is something cool there it's <laughs> it's it's time definitely helps with that because like, the more time goes on, the more I'm like, well, they wouldn't have stuck with me this whole time if I was a terrible person, right? <laughs> and now it's this bit. Ugh. It's the edge bits that are so difficult to do in this. Oh, I fell. Oh, but I think I did. 
I did the bits I needed to, I think. Oh, joke's on me. It turns out I'm cool. You f oh no, I fooled you too. <laughs> I fooled you as well. Oh no. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you think so. But yeah, as well though, the older I get, the, the more I'm like, cool is subjective. Like, to me, I think that being a huge nerd is like the coolest thing. I really, I, I love that. <laughs> And it's like, there are other people who would definitely disagree. Like, not everyone is a huge nerd. But for me, I am I am a huge nerd. I think being a huge nerd is a great thing. I think it's a lot of fun. I see it as a compliment. <laughs> and that's another thing that really helps as well, I think. Man, I didn't expect this stream to turn into, like, pep talk time. Cozy pep talk time. <laughs> Uh, one day you won't feel that way, but man, it's a struggle. It, it is a struggle. It is such a struggle to get there. And, like, I don't think it ever really stops being a struggle, too. Like, it's... I, I, I feel like I give off the impression a lot of the time that I, I know what I'm doing. I never know what I'm doing. But sometimes I'm just like, well, you know what? I don't need to know everything. Just... I will just take things as they go. I'll just do my best. That's like the best I can do. But yeah, honestly, being a nerd is the, the most fun. It's so good. Like, video games, Dungeons and Dragons, it's so fun. Uh, Taoist tidbit, accepting your true nature is how to find happiness. And my true nature is cool. Maybe I am just cool. I need to accept that I'm cool. If anyone tells me I'm not cool, I'll be like, um, well, actually... <laughs> actually, I'm cooler than you. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to say that. That would be mean. Okay, I, I need to... It's oh, these beams at the edge now that are the... The last few bits I need to panel. It's this one. This one on the end. Ugh. There it is. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. I did it. Ah! I did it. I did the... Ah! Oh, the roof right as I fall off. Yes. And that actually helps me because I need to do this bit too. <laughs> it is me. I feed off the pep talks. That's actually what it is. I'm, I'm just consuming the positive energy. <laughs> Uh, but this is why I like House Flipper streams as well, though. I feel like it's so nice to... To just have a game on in the background while we just talk about anything and everything. It's it's comfy. Comfy cozy times. Alright, and then I think all of this needs to be white. Ba -ba -ba all of this. But yeah, thank you so much for the, the compliments as well, though. I've it, it does, it really does mean a lot to me to know that people do think I'm cool. <laughs> and like every time someone says, oh, I, I really like your streams. I love the comfy vibes. Like th those are the biggest compliments to me because it's, that's what I set out to do. It's what I want to do. I'm, I'm just here for, for a good time. I'm just here for the, the cozy times. Just a, a little a little space away to forget about how stressful the rest of the world is. And we're just chilling. We're just relaxing, having a good time. Oh, come on in! The door is wide open. The door is open for everybody in here. Come on in! Boom! The door is open. Everyone is welcome at Cozy Vibe Home. Oh, I, f I love how this is turning out. I'm really happy with this. I think it's going to be so pretty once it's done. I haven't even started on the inside yet. Well, I kind of started on the inside. I I have done a little bit of the bathroom. But I haven't done much. Oh, it updated the pronouns. Fabulous. <laughs> I see. I see it. Perfect. Along the 
very neatly. Yeah, I'm so happy with how this is turning out. This... I feel like I'm doing a good job in creating the, the Liri vibes. I think... I'm making the kind of house where you look at it and you're just like, yeah, that that is... That's Liri's house. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I'm so glad I came back up here. This is where the, the panels I need are. <laughs> oh, I, I'm glad I decided to go with the pastel in the end because I wasn't sure whether to, but I... I think this looks nicest from the outside. I think... I don't want it to be too dark. I like it like this. Right, and now... Now I need to struggle to do the the edge of the roof. Ah. Ah, touching on the old topic of labels one more, though. Uh, you do sometimes wonder if there would be one that feels accurate for you, but you'll settle for... It technically falls under non-binary, I guess. Well, that's a good way to see it, too. Just be like, well, it's... That, that's, that's close enough. <laughs> if nothing else. And it's like, if you don't like labels, then you don't have to label yourself. Just, just, <laughs> I could just imagine just like, so, uh, so what's your gender? Eh? <laughs> I have a lot of friends who have the gender of, eh? <laughs> Alright, this is gonna, oh, I think I'm gonna have to move the, move the scaffolding around oh this is making you realize we should just paint all those brutalist structures cute colors yeah that's what i'm going for it's i like the thought of um it's like when you first see the building it looked so stark like because of all the angles it looks very stark and kind of intimidating but as soon as you just stick a few wood panels on in cute pastel colors it makes it feel more cozy it makes it comfy immediately. Uh, there. Okay. I'm just placing it in the trees every time. Okay. I did not bring the panels with me. That's okay. I can just get more. Hee <laughs> hee. But yeah, the, this the, this was like my vision for it right from the beginning and. I'm so... It feels nice to see it all, like, shaping out. Like, this... It's it's so nice when a plan comes together. <laughs> because, like, seeing it, like, with all of, like, the brickwork, the greys, everything's all very, very sharp. I was hoping it would work out, because it's... It is hard to make something with so many angles feel softer. But I'm, I think I'm doing a decent job. I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. It is the Liri home. And once I've added all the lights as well, it's going to make it so, so comfy. At least I hope so. And then I can add some more plants and also rocks. Mostly rocks. I just want to fill my garden with cool rocks. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Oh, Fogo, you and the spouse beat Talos 2 this week. Oh, oh, I hope you enjoyed it. I love that game. I had so much fun playing that. I'm, I, I want more. I just, I just crave more Talos principle content. I want more puzzles. I want, I want, uh, yay, harder puzzles, please. <laughs> but I, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a fun time with it. Oh, the last few puzzles were so cool. Oh, yes! Oh, and the, the hundred percenting. Yes, get get everything unlocked. Find all the secrets. It's, they're so worth it. It's so good. It was such a great experience. I'm, I'm really glad I streamed it all when it came out. Uh, you always called dibs on the mega structure exploration because that and talking was your favorite part. I love that. That's so good. It, it makes me, it reminds me of me and my brother playing the Persona games 
Like, specifically, like, in my mind, I always remember Persona 4. Because what we'd do is we'd play together, but I would handle all of, like, the talking and the social link parts. And then he would do all of the dungeon grinding. Because, like, I, I like doing a few fights in Persona games. But as soon as I'm, like, underleveled and I need to, like, do a bit of grinding, I get really bored. <laughs> Whereas he likes, like, the the dungeon battling parts the most. So we, we just played it together and just, like, passed the controller over. <laughs> and that was really fun. Alright, okay, I've done all... Have I done all the rooms? Have I done it all? Oh, no, I haven't done this side. Oh, there's a lot I haven't done around the back. Hold on. I've missed loads around the back. Oh, I missed the underneath up there. Too. Oh, okay. Let me do this before I... Before I move on. I need to pink this as well, I think. Because this is... This is wall. I want to make wall pink. Can I reach from here? I can't. Okay. No! I need more. It's up. It's up here. Okay. Okay. Whoa. I made it. I did it. And now I need pink. Let me get some more pink. Ah, oh, you should go rest. Oh, thank you for stopping in, Carousillabus. I hope you get good rest. I hope you sleep well. Do I need the pink? I fell. Well, at least I found the pink. <laughs> I should make a tally of how many times I've I've fallen so far just trying to do this roof. Uh, good thing I'm a cat and I always land on my feet, right? And also, uh, I don't know if anyone's familiar with the movie Fly Away Home. No, I haven't seen that movie. But uh, the movie's based off a true story of Bill Lishman. Uh, he built an earth ship and... Oh, Round Kitchen! Ooh... Yeah, that sounds so cool. Round Kitchen presents so many challenges because appliances are not built round. Yeah, I feel like it would be easier to make like a like an oval kitchen because then you could you could have like the flat lines for appliances and then curve the edges either side. But yeah, round kitchen. Having like a curved sink, I could imagine could be really useful. Uh, you have the Persona 5 Royal Steelbook game and the Persona 5 Royal Vinyl, but never actually played it. Oh, I played Persona 5 when it came out, but I haven't played Royal with the extra stuff that was added. So I, I don't know any of the, like, the extra Royal content, but yeah, I played Persona 5 as soon as it came out. Because I've been a, I've been a Persona fan ever since I was a, a teenager and I saw Persona 3 in a shop for the first time and... It ended up being the first video game I ever completed on my own. <laughs> right. Yeah, there's a lot I haven't finished over here. Next challenge. Let's start with pink. I didn't do the side of these. I didn't do the sides of these ones. What the heck? Um, let me... Let me scoot over here. There we go. There we go. Let's get the pink for here. That's gotta be pink. That's gotta be pink. Trying to get the right angle is so hard. I feel like I'm just gonna fall off the edge. Ah, uh, 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 uh. I had the pixel. Where was the pixel? Was it there? Ah, oh, got it. Okay. Whew. Right, cause I want like the, the frame of the windows to also be pink. And that, and this. Oh, I can't do anything from, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at the worst angle right now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's when I, oh, that was when I fell off and I got distracted like, oh, I haven't done those. I may as well just do that. 
I remember now, thank you. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot about that. And then we do that, and then that, and then that. All of the pets. Yeah, I fully, fully forgot about the back of the house here. Hee hee hee, bring a burr. Imagine having a brain. <laughs> See, I save my brain for when I'm playing puzzle games. When I'm playing a game like this, the brain is very firmly switched off. <laughs> So then I end up with moments where I fall off and then I'm like, what was I doing? I can't do multiple things at the same time. I was talking about something. I don't know what I'm doing in the game. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I like this kind of game. Kind of game that is just so easy to relax with. Anyway, I need to move this over, so come up. I should get rid of that too. I will move this over here. Haha! -ha. So now I can reach this side. I will need to buy more white soon. But I can I can at least finish this little bit off. Oh I can't quite reach. No, I can reach! Oh my goodness! <gasps> Powerful. I feel so powerful. And then the underneath, I, I forgot about the underneath a little, a little further along here. Please don't let me fall off. Okay. Yeah, like this angle, I forgot to do this underneath. But I can do that now. Like that. Uh, actually, speaking of brain usage, do I think I'll have to learn yet another full monk rework in Final Fantasy? <laughs> or do I think Square Enix will actually stick to one of their guns for once? I hope not. I hope they don't fully change it. Oh my goodness, I stopped playing 14 for the longest time. And then I came back and I think the first thing I said when I was looking at my monk stuff was, where's my grease lightning gun? <laughs> I missed my Grease Lightning! Everyone was just like, well, that means you don't have to worry about keeping your stacks up anymore. And I'm just sat like, but I... But I enjoyed that. It was fun working out my uptime and keeping my stacks up. It... It feels... A little bit easier to play now. Yeah, taking positionals away too. I still do non-existent positionals as monk. Well. It's so funny because even though the positionals aren't there anymore, I've I've kind of gotten the muscle memory. So I still do the positionals even though it does nothing. I just dance around for no reason. <laughs> it's great. But yeah, Monk keeps changing so, so often and there's no need for it. Okay, I think it's just like this side now. And then I think I might be done. Oh, I do need to do the inside of the windows for the downstairs. I was doing that for the upstairs, but not for downstairs so far. So I will need to do that. But I think I'm nearly done. Where the heck can I, oh, there, I can put it here. Okay. Okay, I'm, ne I'm nearly done with the outside. It's so exciting. Then we do bum bum bum. Ba, 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 ba. Just the two along the top here. All the way along. I'm gonna have to move the scaffolding to do the other end of it, but that's okay. We'll start with this end. And wall. Pinkify wall. Boom. Boom. I really do like this pink though, it's so nice. And then that is pink. And then that is pink. Yeah. Oh, found the positionals made fights more dynamic. Right! I Eight. like It feels a bit silly to me now to just be like 
on the boss's butt for the whole fight, except for like a single move where I move around to the side. Like, I prefer dancing around. I, I thought it was more fun. But it, it's also really funny when I'm, I mention it to people and they're like, but they made it easier. Why are you complaining? <laughs> I liked the complexity. I liked having to think about what I was doing. It made it more fun. Because my, my other main is Red Mage, and that one is so easy. I can I can do that one, like, that I don't have to brain when I'm Red Maging. It's great. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I'm Pillow Fort. Hello. Thank you for the eight. Welcome, welcome. Uh, as a Sam main, you'd rather just not have any. Yeah, I, I guess it depends on the, the role, but I, I really liked dancing around. I still dance around anyway. <laughs> oh, but still miss having to actually contribute to enmity management. Oh, I really miss the days of just like, is is a DPS in your party being an ass? Uh, shirk them. <laughs> hey, suddenly they have aggro. <laughs> oh, I, I miss those times. I feel like it's... Nowadays, it's more just like, so long as a tank has tank stance on, you don't have to do anything to worry about enmity. It's it's just not a problem. And I miss, like, when the, when you'd have to, like, actively work on it. <laughs> but it, it is more user-friendly, though. It, it is far more user-friendly. Especially with, like, new players coming into it as well after the game's been going for a long, long time. It's really intimidating to get into for the first time. So I do like that they have made it a bit more, like, friendly, I guess. Like, yeah, it's, 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 I, I need to play more. Uh, I stopped playing Final Fantasy for the longest time, and then I picked up my sub again recently. And I've been going through Endwalker for the first time, and I I am on the level 85 quests. Uh, to avoid spoilers, um, I've just managed to attune to the big etherite that I couldn't attune to at the start. That's where I am in the story. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to play more, because I'm. it's so fun. It's really fun. It's just time for me. It's just having the time to do it. I, I don't have much spare time anymore. Being an adult sucks. There's so much, there's always something that needs to be done. And so I, I end up not really getting as much time to play casual video games like Final Fantasy as I like to, but I'm, I'm really excited to play more. I, I need to play more. Also, Sora no, thank you for the head pat. Welcome, welcome. Okay, down here? Can I reach? I can reach. <gasps> yes! Oh, I'm nearly done with the outside of the house. This is so exciting. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I'm so happy. It looks so nice. Now we do the white. For the rest of the the edge here. The Pokemon. Oh, I need to buy more. Okay. More white. Bomb. Bomb. Bom. Bom. Is there more here? No, I did this bit. <gasps> Is that it? I think there's a few more pink edges I still need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I wish I could just drop it and it would fall on the floor. Let's put it on the floor. It almost let me. Oh, I think it did. I think it just let me put it on the <laughs> Nice. And I'm bringing this down. Because I know I need to do the windows here. I did not do the insides of these windows. There we go. And 
inside of that window. Do I want to do the the floor part too? I think I might do. Because I did. I think I did for the other window. Yeah, I think just like like that. I think I'll do it like that. If I don't like it, I can just put carpet over it. So. Okay, and is there anything else I missed? I've done all of that. This is looking good. This is looking good. I do need to work out like the flooring that I'm going to do. I'm not fully sold on that yet, but I've done all of this. I've done all of this. I did the edge here. Oh, I didn't do the floor for this part. I think I want to do that. I think I am going to do that. Along here, because I forgot to do this... This outside part, too. Oh, wait, so I can just do it like this. Yes! There we go, look at this! Haha! -ha. Bada bam, and then we go around here. Okay, and the inside of this one. Like this. And also the inside of this one. And I think this is it. I think when I'm done with this, I will be finally finished with paneling the outside of my home. After, like, two hours. Yay! Oh my goodness, I'm, I really love how this is turning out. What if I just make this all the wood as well? Maybe. Uh, you are a savage raider from 4.2 until late 6.3 and have some amount of extreme or savage experience with everything other than Gunbreaker. Consequently, you have very stilted views of the game sometimes. That is understandable. That is very understandable. I never remember which patch is which so like the numbers don't mean anything to me like I forget which number refers to which expansion never mind like the patch numbers in between I, I have no idea which is which but uh, I used to do savage raiding um, I started with I think the first time I we did like serious raiding was uh, the the train in um, Omega Scape in Alphascape, in Somethingscape, those, those ones. <laughs> Started with the train and then did like the first two tiers of Eden as well, I think. Or like one and a half tiers of Eden. And that's, that's my raid experience. Like about half of, half of the Somethingscapes and then half of the Edens. <laughs> Ah, oh, is that Stormblood until Endwalker? I see. Train was Sigmascape. Yes. Yeah, the train was the first... That was, like, the first set where we started from the beginning. Like, tried a little bit of Savage before then, but then, like, train was when it, like, really kicked off. And I still laugh thinking back on it, because when I did the train in Savage, I was playing as a tank. And I look back on it now, and all of my classes that I've leveled that do not include tank, and I can't help but laugh a bit because like, tank is my least favorite to play. <laughs> I don't like being a tank. I'm like, I will always pick DPS or healer over tank. I don't know, it's like, there's nothing, I have nothing against tank. I just don't really enjoy it. And then it's so funny, Considering Xander in comparison, like, he he started mostly healing. Like, he was an Astrologian main, and then he rage quit Astrologian because of all the changes they made to it, and picked up Gunbreaker, and now he's a tank main. <laughs> so it's really funny to think about. And it, oh, it's time. It's time. Hey, everybody. Hey. The grand reveal... Huh. Oh, it looks really nice. I forgot a wall. I forgot a wall. I forgot the pink wall up here. 
Okay, tiny bit, tiny bit I've forgotten. But oh, it's, oh, I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy with this. My home. My home. Wait, where did I put the pink ones? What did I do with the pink panels? I left them around this side, didn't I? Yes, they're here. Okay. This is the only part I haven't done. I can't reach. Scaffolding, come back. I forgot. I do that a lot. <laughs> Still salty we couldn't suplex the train. Yeah, they. we should have been able to. Should have been able to. It would have been so good. Boom. Boom. I'm going to do the side as well here. Because I, I did this white before I realized I wanted this to be like the pink wall. Oh, what's the easiest way to get up there? Uh, can I do it from here? No, I'm too far. Can I? Hold on. Wah! Oh, I made it. I made it. Oh. Parkour. Okay. Now it's done. Okay. Three, two, one. My home. It's my home. Oh, it looks really nice. It looks really nice. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I am so happy with how this looks. Oh. Oh, look at look at it. It's my home. It's my home. I'm I'm really happy with this. I'm I'm so happy with how this has turned out. This is it's exactly how I hoped it would be. I was hoping it would look like this, and it looks so nice. Anyway, now... Now it's time to grab these lights and put them around the top. Because <laughs> we only have them at the bottom at the moment. Oh, wait, I can put one here too. Like, line it up in the middle. Just... Yes. Yes. Now flip it. I'm I'm doing the flipping. Not physically. I couldn't physically flip a house. I'm just a cat girl. Oh, I'm so happy with how this looks though. This makes me so happy. All right, let's start from here. I'm just going to like line them up like this and I'm just going to pray that it's going to work out. And if it doesn't, then I will shed a single tear and then move on. <laughs> it's not going to line up properly, but... But I can see how close it gets. I could always add an extension on. Like, there is literally nothing stopping me from... I, I just keep walking off the scaffolding. There's nothing stopping me from just extending this a bit further out. Just to make the lights fit. <laughs> it would be the silliest reason for an extension. But I would do it. Uh, uh. I just need to not fall off. Ba -da -bum. Bum. Yeah, it's that doesn't fit. Actually, to like make this like the lip part, I think I'm, I'm going to. Where's my cursor here? I'm gonna demolish this. Like this little bit of wall here. I don't think I need it. I think this wall goes. Just chiseling away at it. I really love the, the precision hit. Like, I usually do the, the strong hit, so it's like the really loud krong. But the precise one is like, you, you're literally just chiseling away at it. it it's got such a nice sound. <laughs> okay. Now, where did I put my panels? Are they still up here? 
No, they are not up here. I don't know where they are, so I'm just going to buy more. I can't reach from here. Okay. Pink. And white. Where's my cursor gone? Oh, there. Pink and white. <laughs> this is... Um, yeah, I thought I would fall off. Now I go back on the scaffold too. Why, why am I... Oh, I'm like the tiniest bit too far away. Where the scaffolding is right now. I put this in an awful spot. Hold on, I'm going to move it. Here I am just struggling and I could literally just like turn this around and stick it right here. There, look! It's so close now. That's so much easier. It's right there. Why was I struggling? <laughs> Why am I like this? Why am I so stubborn? I always do this. Like I'll start doing something, realize it's inefficient and keep doing it that way anyway because I already started and I might as well carry on. Ha! <laughs> huh. Oh, I fell again. Oh, my poor little knees. That goes there. That goes there. And yeah, I think... <laughs> I could just build a little extension. Hold on. I'm gonna try something. Will it fit with one pixel? It will. No. Almost. Oh, it's just kind of poking off the end a little bit. I move it along the other end and then it will fit. Okay, we're adding we're adding a lip all the way around the house just to just for the lights. <laughs> just for these lights. I can, I can just move them along this end. What am I doing? I don't need that. What am I doing? Never mind. I'm silly. I'm silly. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm just moving all the lights along. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, that's not what I wanted to pick up. I want the light. Thank you. Right, I'm going to stick this light on the side for now. And I'm a little silly. What we're going to do is we are simply going to start at this end and go along the other way. That's so much easier. Why? Oh, I keep doing that. Why am I so silly? It is okay. It is all right to be a little silly sometimes. I love how I was talking about literally buying an extension to the house and I just don't need to. I can just move them along. <laughs> All right, let's pop you there. Pop you there and then the one I put on the side, if I can reach it. Blech. Okay, I got it. It just goes here. And let's see if one one more of them looks alright. Oh, uh, if I could have a small chibi-ish art of me drawn. <gasps> oh, mermaid Leary, magical girl Leary, or something else. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wouldn't mind. Whatever you want to do, what whatever you would want to do. If you wanted to draw a chibi Leary, I would be I would be honored. I would love that. Yes, please. Yeah, I think I just do it like this. Yeah, I like this. Look at that! It's gonna it's gonna be so nice at night time. Just seeing all the, the, the lights around the edge. Oh I like it. It's pretty. Right, let's start selling all of these empty boxes I've been leaving around. Oh, well, we've done the paneling, so I'll, I'll just sell all of them. 
Did I leave any around here? No. I left one here. I left one around here? No? No, I guess I didn't. Okay, and then I, I kept all of these. These were like the, the tiles that are... This is the paving that was originally used. I don't know if I want to keep this yet or not. No, I think I will. I think I'm going to keep this paving. We'll see how it goes. Okay, see what you're feeling most pulled to. Oh, don't... Oh, you don't need to, like, worry about quality or anything. I, I will love it. If, if you made it for me, I, I know I'm going to love it. But that's really sweet that you, you want to draw me. Thank you. And welcome back, Sarah Cat. Look, look at my house. It's, it's so pretty. It's finally looking leery, I think. Let's get rid of this horrible scaffolding. There we go. See, this this finally feels like a Leary house to me. I'm I'm very happy. I'm very happy with it. There's still a lot that needs to be done. Like I still haven't started decorating inside, but from the outside, I think this is exactly what I wanted it to be. So I'm feeling very happy. Oh yeah, cuz these were the yeah, this is like this paving. We've got like all the concrete round this side here as well. Maybe I connect this up. Maybe I build like a foundation floor and connect this around here. Hmm. I don't, oh, maybe... I don't know why there's all this here, honestly. I'm... I don't have a door out here. Oh, I think there used to be a back door here. And I decided I don't want a back door here. And I just got rid of it. So, yeah, I guess this would be a walkway to get in. But it's not anymore, so... Right, do I get rid of it or extend it? Hmm. I think I want to extend it, actually. I've Let's match it up with, like, this. Would it be up to, like, here? Instant. Right, and then I think, I think that's in line. Let's just build a fake. No, there's one more. It, I need, it needs to be out one more. So we do this. Oh, I did it sideways. Oh, this is going to take forever. I'm so silly. Oh, no. No, I just I just made it too deep somehow. <laughs> okay, that foundation goes down a little further than I intended it to. But we're good. And then we do something here. To link it up. I guess like that and that and then there. Ha ha. And then this little bit too. We go. Boom. Nice. Nice. I've got to say, I do find it very interesting how they've set it up so that you use like building a wall as a way to make a foundation like it's a really interesting way of doing it and like it took me a while to realize with a lot of the the pre-built houses how they did it but as soon as i realized that the foundation was just like layers of wall i was like wait that's a really clever way of doing it huh all right i still need to figure out how I would make a basement as well, though. Howdy. Howdy! Gambler, hello! Thank you for the resub for 22 months. Oh my goodness. You're getting really close to the two-year mark. That's so exciting. Hello! Welcome, welcome! How's it going? Look at my house! Look at my house. I'm really proud of it. I'm really proud of my house. Look how cute. I'm making it so cute. It was so stark before, and I made it. 
I realize I can't move these rocks now. I think I would want these rocks to be more like here. But that's something to worry about afterwards. That's like finishing touches. Oh, I did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. To be fair, the, the actual architecture was mostly done for me. It's one of the base game houses. But it was so stark and grey and dirty and horrible looking before. And I feel like I've made it quite soft. Like, considering how angular it is, this feels like a soft house to me. I'm, I really love how it's turned out. I'm really happy with it. It makes me so pleased. I'm... This is what I... This is what I was hoping it would look like. I didn't know if it would work out. But it has. And I really like it. Right, I need to figure out up here too. I'm gonna bring these same tiles up here. Why the rocks though? Because I like cool rocks. <laughs> I like cool rocks. That that's that's the whole reason. Because I wanted them there. <laughs> oh here's all the stuff I forgot to sell. There we go. Sorted. Right, and I'm thinking we do this like for the path. I don't actually want the small cube path. I think I just want it like this. Oh, I'm already out. Oops. Good job I got another box. Boom. I think for this path, I want it to just be plain. Just plain for here, and then like the main driveway will have the squares. Like, like you can see like all of this bit has the squares. I think up to here, I'm going to do like this. Yeah, I think I like it like this. Yeah. And I've got these lights. Oh, I did want to bring some of these lights upstairs. So let us duplicate. Yeah, I want one like at the corner here. And then on the other corner here. Yes. Let's just have it on all four of the corners, actually. Let's... Yeah. Little corner lights. And then have one on the corner here, too. Did I place that properly? Hold on. There. Yeah, I like these. I like these lights. I think I need more of the strip lights around this edge. But I can fix that pretty easily too. See, this is the part where we're going to make the extensions, I think. Like, if I if I put the light like this... We know how long to make this. <laughs> we're making it purely... To match up with the light. Oh, goodness. Uh... There. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Yeah, look at that. We're just going to make it this big. All the way along here. Noom. And then we'll do another... Another layer. Extended! Fabulous! I do need to now buy more of the white. But it's worth it to make sure the lights fit perfectly. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this. It's just purely for the lights. I just I just need the lights to to match up perfectly. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. I'll have to go back up on the roof as well to <laughs> to make sure I've got like the, the top of it. Uh, paneled as well. But yay! Exactly! It's for the night aesthetic. It's It's gotta be... It's gotta, it's gotta look good. I could just build another beam here. It's fine. I'll build another structural pillar to hold it up. 
that'll work. Yeah. I fell off again. Again? Yeah, plus I, I don't think this would really affect the structural integrity. I think this would still be solid enough. I think. Maybe. Anyway, I think I will do another, like, support beam. They're just, like, two apart. It's like one, two, and then I go one, two. Yeah, we have another support beam. Gotta make sure it's safe. And then one, two, one, two. Boop. Perfect. I think I, I'm gonna need to fill in this a little bit too to, to make it all match up. Boop, boop, perfect. Yeah, this bit, I need to fill this. So that I can make it white. So we go boom. Oh, I forgot about. I forgot I left these up here too. Wait, that's actually really helpful. That's actually so helpful because I need the pink right now. <laughs> Yay! It all works out. I'm so glad I didn't actually sell everything. I must have known I would need it. <laughs> boop, boop. Where's the single pixel where I can do the bottom? There it is. Yay! Uh, also, it's actually insane how much more this game allows you to do compared to the first one. I know, right? It's They have done such an incredible job of like taking all of the feedback the players gave in the first game and basically being like, you wanted to do this? You can do this now. Like, there's still a few things where I do prefer House Flipper 1. But on the whole, I feel like I am... The quality of life in this game is so nice, I don't know how I would feel playing House Flipper 1 again. Like, I know they've been adding more content to House Flipper 1, but I think, me personally, I am, I am done with House Flipper 1. I think I've... I think I've got everything out of the game that I wanted. I... I feel like I have, I'm happy with what I did in House Flipper 1. I didn't do all of the jobs, but I very happily moved on to House Flipper 2 now. <laughs> like, I just really like this game. I love this game so much. I, I really, really love it. And so I've, I've moved on. I've, 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 um, Oh, I've, I've transcended to House Flipper 2. I was going to say graduated. Transcended is a much nicer word. <sighs> yeah, they're still adding stuff to 2 too. Yeah, I know. They've, they've got like a whole board with like what they're working on, what they're planning on doing. I really, like, I admire so much how open they're being with the whole thing like they're saying yeah this is stuff we have planned this is stuff that is going to be in the game but not yet it's i really love how how open the communication is like it's they're they're a great dev team they're so good and i'm not just saying that because they follow my twitch account too <laughs> i still remember when i got fo followed by frozen district and i was like oh my goodness the the house flippers I'm finally famous. Senpai noticed me. <laughs> boom. Boom. Yeah, in a world full of EAs and Ubisofts, we need more companies like this. Yeah, they're such they're such a great dev team. I always I always love seeing how much they're adding. Like, it'd be so easy, especially after House Flipper 2 came out, it would be so easy for them to just go, yeah, we we're stopping work on one. But they're still updating it they they haven't just like forgotten about it since two's come out and i really love that it's very nice 
All right, what else was I going to do? Oh yeah, I, I have the option to like do the, what is that? No, oh, I want that to be pink, I think. Where's my pink? Pink's out there. Can I reach it? Ugh. I'm scared, I'm gonna fall. No, I didn't fall. I didn't fall when I wanted to, so it still counts. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. That's what this was missing. And I think as well, I can change style of the stairs because they've still got this gray concrete at the moment. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh my goodness, wait. <gasps> slanted first step flat, flat. No, I like the slanted. Oh, that's so much nicer. <gasps> oh, that's so nice. This is so nice. Oh, what's the bottom half of this model's outfit? I have shorts on. I... I got shorts. And thigh-high boots. <laughs> that is the, the bottom half of this outfit. I got, I got shorts on. Shorts and long boots. I'm a big fan of shorts. Both of my outfits have shorts. <laughs> and then my third one is a skirt. But the other two have shorts. I like shorts. <laughs> Thank you for the art info. You are very welcome. Right, now let me copy this style. Boom. Yes. Okay, this has to be white now. I did have this with the concrete. This has to be white now. <laughs> I say as I pull out my roller of teal paint, maybe not. There we go. Oh, it's a different white because this is like, it's wood. It's like painted white wood. But I think it's okay. Wait, I could just make the stairs pink. I'm so silly, hold on. I know what I gotta do. I also just noticed a spot that I missed here, so uh, there we go. I could just make the stairs pink. There is nothing stopping me from also making the stairs pink. Which one was it? Was it this? Yeah, it's this pink, I think. Yeah! Oh, or I could make it teal to match the, the railing. No, I think the teal would be too much here. I think this is the call. I think this is it. Yes. And then... Oh, and then I go back to the pink again. Parkour over to here, fall off the roof again. Okay, got him, fall off. And we're gonna use this for here. Oh yes, there we go. That's more like it, that's more like it. That's it. Perfect, perfect, okay, I'm happy. And I think as well, I, I wanna, do the wood on these on like the steps to, to match to match the white I'm gonna have to do the edge of every single one of these which is gonna be really annoying but it's gonna look good so I don't care how long it takes it's gonna be great all right now we do this side boop 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 That side, that side, that side, that side. Boom, boom, boom. Now we do this. Gotta open the door. Now we do this side. Oh my goodness, Lara, hello! Welcome, welcome! Oh my goodness, thank you for the raid again! Oh my goodness, I feel so honored. <laughs> thank you for bringing the raid this way, hi! How's it going? Oh, oh my goodness. Did you have fun with Professor Layton? I hope you had a, I hope you had a good time. Wait, which one is Last Spectre? It's, it had a different name. It had a different name in the UK, didn't it? I, I think. Which one's Last Spectre? Which 
Which one is it? Da ba ba ba. Spectre's Call! Of course, it has Spectre in the name. Why did, <laughs> Why did I forget that? Oh, I hope you had fun with it. Oh, I, I love the I love the Professor Layton games so much. I really want to replay them. It's been a while since I played them, actually. I, I'm probably due a replay. But uh, thank you for bringing the raid this way, though. Oh, you love Layton. It's your favorite series. Oh, it's, it's such a good series. It's such a such a good set of games. I love the Layton games. But uh, thank you for bringing the raid this way. To anyone who's new here, hello! I'm Liri, I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And today's comfy time, we are just vibing. We're just having a good time, and I am decorating my own house in House Flipper 2. And, oh, is it good? You've played one? It's so good. It's really good. When I first started playing it, like, when I, when I first got it, a little part of me was like, well, House Flipper fine is one. Do we really need a two? Do we really need House Flipper two? And then as soon as I started playing it, I was just like, okay, yes. Yes, we did need House Flipper two. It's so good. There are so many changes that have been made. Like there's so much more you can do now. Like for a start, you can knock down outside walls. You can just like build an entire house from the ground up. It is, it's so good. It's really, really good. Like, they've added little things like, uh, there's grid snap now. So, like, if you pick up an item, you can grid snap. You see, like, guidelines. You can know where you're putting things. It's really nice. Like, there's still some stuff that I think the first game does better. But they're still, like, actively working on it. Like, it's it's not just a one-and-done thing. There, there's a lot of stuff that they are still working on including. And I have I have very high hopes. I'm I'm really loving it so far though. But yeah, it's a really good game. Uh, I don't like the painting in this as much as I like the painting in one. Like the painting in this, like I know what they were going for, but they've made it quite clunky. So it's not like my favorite aspect. I much prefer like the tiling though. This is the tiling. Tiling and paneling. If you remember how annoying it is to tile things in the first house flipper now you literally you you just hold on let me me carry on now you literally just like buy the thing and place it it's so much easier it's so much nicer it's really really nice oh that is true though that is very true you can you can have partially painted walls too now because when you're painting you can like section off an area and then you just like paint that area it's just squares now so like i'm not going to do it because i don't want to paint a teal rectangle on my wall <laughs> but you can just like paint sections now you can do like patterns it's really good but yes don't let me keep you from your dinner please go get some dinner but thank you for sending the raid this way i have stream times always overlap so i i always miss your streams too but i'm i'm glad you managed to raid me Thank you. Yeah, the, the selection even looks like masking tape. It's great. It's such a good way of doing it. But yeah, they, they really have done so much. It's so good. Also, Lyra hello, was just informed it's almost Ocean Gate's implosion's one year anniversary. What? No, it hasn't. What, like the... Like the submarine thing? That's not been a year. That's not been a year, has it? No. No. That can't have been a year. What? June 18th. Oh my goodness. I What? And we're already in May. <laughs> time is fake. What the heck? What the heck? I'm I would like to stop the passage of time now, please. I'm I'm sick of it. I I would like it to stop. Thank you. <laughs> right. Anyway, I am so happy with how this has turned out, though. I'm... I'm very happy. I'm very happy with my home. And now I've just realized... I demolished some walls on the one side, so I need to demolish them on this side as well. I need to demolish this wall, too. I did it on the... I did it on the one side, I gotta do it on this side as well. 
Let me chisel away at this wall so that I can fit the lights on properly. It's very important. Okay. 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 Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm not stuck. <gasps> I did it. Now, I hopefully, oh, I'm so stuck. Oh. Okay. I think that's all I have to do. And then the pink as well. I need the pink back. Copy. <laughs> I'm just sticking it there so I can reach it. So now I can do this. Oh, this is, this is so precarious. This is incredibly awkward. I'm right next to this wall as I'm trying to panel it. Okay, I think I did it. I did it! Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I did it. Okay. Okay, we're good. Now I can start putting the lights down here. <laughs> this is such a precarious place to do anything. This is dangerous. Do not try this at home. <laughs> right, but now I can put the lights along there. And hopefully I won't fall off. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm a cat. I always land on my feet like that. I always land on my feet, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, it's all good. Ba -ba -ba. Also, yes, Val, thank you. I'm a professional, I know what I'm doing. Hi Val, how's it going? Happy Wednesday. I know what I'm doing sometimes. I think that's even. I'm gonna jump off so I can check. Yes, that's even, okay. <laughs> We're good. I'm doing it again. It can't be stopped. Now I just have to put all the lights along here very precariously. Oh. I just need to not fall off. It's It's that easy. But these are going to line up perfectly. And it's going to look so good. I'm so ready. Come on, two more. Go like that. Go like that. There we go. I missed, I missed slightly. I, I misplaced it. And then we go like... I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Look at that. We got the lights. Oh, and this is so nice too. I just realized the sun's coming down. So I'll be able to show off what it looks like in the dark. It's going to be so pretty. I'm so happy with how this has turned out. Happy Wednesday on lunch break. Excellent. Oh, thank you for thank you for stopping in on your lunch break. I feel, I feel honored. But, uh, three... Two, one, my house. <gasps> it still feels good no matter how many times I do that. Like, every time I just look back and turn around, it feels so nice every time. I'm so happy. I am so happy with how this has turned out. Oh, thank you so much. I'm, I love it so much. I'm, that's what it is. We got pastel brutalism. I came in to this angular, harsh, grey building and I went, you know what this needs to be? Pink. <laughs> and I really, I really love how it's turned out. It, it feels so pretty. It feels so nice. Like, I'm, I'm not, I haven't done the inside yet. The inside is, oh, I've got some swatches. I've got paint colour swatches for the paints I'm going to use. But I have not decorated the inside yet. But the outside is now completely done. And we got all like nice mood lighting to go around to make it look nice. Although now that I'm looking at it, I've suddenly realized something that I need to do. I have something I need to do because I'm looking at this 
and every other, every other like edge bit, every like the lips of the houses, they're all like two squares high. This one is only one square high. I need to add more wall. I need to make it, I need to make a match. I need to go boom, boom, boom. It needs to be this high. It needs to be like this. It's just, I was just looking at it like something doesn't feel right about this. There's something I need to fix here. But I couldn't figure out what it was. And then I suddenly realized it's just because it's like a single square. Hold on. Yes. I, I don't like how awkward this is too, but I don't think there's anything I can really do about that. Unless I find like a triangular thing I can wedge there <laughs> but I'm really happy with how it's turned out also Astolfo90 thank you for the follow welcome 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 on in thank you for following welcome to my beautiful home I may find myself in a beautiful home with a beautiful wife where I don't have a wife But I could. <laughs> but I really, I'm really happy with this. This, I came in, I came into this plot with an idea and a dream, and I was hoping that it would work out. And I'm, I'm so happy it's actually worked out. Like, I, it's, oh, it's, it's looking so nice. I'm so happy. Right now, I just finish with the the paneling. Now we just make it white to match the rest of it, and this is the look. This is it. The edge bit, yep. We get the underneath part, get that bit. Get all of this bit, make sure I don't miss anything. I've missed the top of it. I will have to like climb back up to get the top of it. But at least for now, there. Yeah, now it matches. Oh, I love it. I want to see it from like a height, actually. Hold on. Let's get some scaffolding. Except it's going to be pink. Because I say so. Wait, base. No, let's just make it. Pink. Doesn't look very pink. Why doesn't it? Oh, there we go. Let's go like that. Oh, that's so obnoxious. Perfect. Right, I'm gonna stick this here for now, and we're gonna climb up. And, and my, oh, I left some, <laughs> I left some stuff on the roof. Oops. Yeah, I need to fix the edge of the roof too. I haven't done that yet, but it's looking so nice. Oh no, I didn't have to do the top because I, I was just adding to the bottom of it. That's not a part I need to worry about. Nice. Oh, I'm so happy with how this has turned out though. Oh, and honestly, like with the amount I increased this by, I've just realized I could like copy this gutter thing going on here. So I wouldn't have to like completely change the roof. I could just, let me, let me try and place this, okay. So I'll grab this. Let me grab the pink as well. Take these up to the roof. And I can fix the, the little mess I made over here. Oh, I can sell this too. I don't need these anymore. Uh, goodbye. Oh no, I... <laughs> sell. Goodbye. And now here, like, if we look at this, if we look down here, there's like a little bit of a ridge and then an almost like a gutter system I can do that up here as well if I just do boop, boop. 
I'm chiseling along here. <laughs> and it's chiseling a little... A little river. A little stream. Boop. Boop. I will soon see the parts I missed. When I come back. I love the little chisely sound effect, though. Okay. I don't think I missed any. No, I didn't miss any. Nice. So now what I can do is... I get the white for, like, all of the rest of it. Up to, like, here. And then the inside as well. That will be the white. I try and oh no that bit's already white because I already did it so I don't have to do all of that edge I already did the other edge from down on the balcony so now I just I do this look just like that sneaky sneaky way of extending and I'm I'm still making it match it's still matching up with the style down there. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Alright, let's sell that. I can just jump down. Wah! Goodbye. 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 And... Voila! I am so happy with this. I'm really happy with how my house is turning out. <laughs> I'm really, really glad. It's so pretty. I like this angle as well, like having the tree in front. Yeah, that's my house. <laughs> but yeah, that feels like a good spot to leave it at then, because it is almost six now, so I should probably go get some dinner. <laughs> but this has been so nice. Oh, I can't believe it's been so long since the last house flipper stream. Like, I, I feel like I... This is like one of my favorite games to play. I feel like I should just play it all the time. <laughs> but thank you for the hydrate too. Let me have another monsty sip. And with that, I shall save the game to make sure. And, oh, that's so loud. Get me out of here. Get me, ugh. There we go, I'm free. Oh, and the chat is frozen on the screen. <laughs> why does my why does my chat keep freezing just on my like my ending screen on my chatting screen? That happened before as well. It just straight up didn't work. But it's okay. There we go. Fixed it now. <laughs> it, it was just the single worm on a string that Rika posted before I even started the stream. Ah, good times. But yes, thank you so much everyone for joining me today. I'm, it's been so nice. It's been such a lovely stream. It's been so comfy. I love the house with the times. I need to do them more often. I I keep saying I will I'll, like regularly play house with it and then it ends up being two months and I'm like, oh, hold on. Time. Time is fake. <laughs> the passage of time. Ugh. But thank you so much everyone for being here. It's been so fun. So comfy. I'm glad. I'm glad it's been comfy for me as well. I'm, I always really enjoy it too because it's such a nice way to de-stress from all of like the, the stressful stuff I have to think about. When I'm playing House Flipper, that's just gone. That is just not here. I'm just not thinking about it. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much everyone for joining me today. A jump scare? Wait, what was the jump scare? Oh, the passage of time. That's the jump scare. <laughs> All right, let's find someone to send a raid onto then. Let's see who is around. Da -da -da. There's quite a few people I know online. Oh, decisions. I'm so bad at decisions. I want to raid all of them.
you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cop out. I'm just gonna raid Mari again, Marigato. Marigato's so nice. I love Mari. And she's also playing Stardew at the moment as well, so that's that's like comfy vibes. It's comfy vibes, we're continuing the comfy with more comfy. I love Stardew. <gasps> Wait, there's a What is this? What is this? Oh my goodness, there's like a there's an animal. There's a manual cam? Ma manual? Manual? What is that? Oh, it's a palace cat! There's a little palace cat stream. There's like little babies all curled up asleep. There's like a camera. Yeah, I'm, I'm raiding Mari. <laughs> We're sending the raid over to Mari for the, the palace cat cam. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much everyone for joining me today. I hope everyone else has a lovely rest of their day slash week slash all the time. Just have a lovely all the time, please. <laughs> But yes, that's it from me for now, and I'll be back again on Friday, and I think it's going to be Baldur's Gate 3 endgame time. We'll see how it goes. We might finish the game. I'm not sure how long endgame is going to take us. We may finish the game, but we'll have to see how things go. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much everyone for joining me today. Here is the raid message when I post it. If you're subbed, we have comfy. If you're not subbed, we have hearts. And I will send you over to the lovely Marigato who is playing Stardew Valley, which is always a nice time. I love that game. And I'm gonna go have some dinner. <laughs> this has been so nice though. Thank you so much. I, I feel like we've had some really nice chats today. It's been a, like a really, a really meaningful chatting day today. It's been really nice. But yeah, thank you so much everyone for joining me. I hope everyone has a lovely rest of the day. Or if it's the end of the day, I hope tomorrow is great. Etc, etc. I gotta go get some dinner. <laughs> thank you so much everyone for joining me today. And until next time.